so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Yeah! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! And look at where we're at today! Ball and Bounce in Los Angeles, California! And in this place, you can play and learn at the same time! I bet you they have a lot of colorful balls here! Let's go! <laughs> hey, Simon! Hey, Blippi, welcome! Nice <laughs> to see you again! Yeah, thanks for having me! Please take off your shoes and have a good time. All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, look, a popsicle. Whoa, orange, purple, and blue. Orange and blue are my two favorite colors. Oh, and purple, yeah, that's one of Mika's favorite colors. All right, we're not here to eat popsicles, we're here to play. So let's take off our shoes. <laughs> Two shoes, and let's play and learn. Let's go! Whoa! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Wow, there's so many colorful balls in here. Let's see which colors there are. All right, we have green. Oh, we have red, blue, pink. Yellow, woo, purple, and orange. Whoa, that slide was so much fun. Why don't we do it again? Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go down the slide. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. There's a trampoline right here. Why don't I get inside and act like some animals and insects that jump? Whoa! Look at me! I'm a grasshopper! Woohoo! <laughs> Grasshoppers can jump so high! Whoa! Hey, can you think of an animal that jumps really high and actually has a little pouch right here and can have a baby right here while they jump really high? Yeah! A kangaroo! Woohoo! I'm a kangaroo! Woohoo! Yeah! Whee! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I have another one for you. It's another animal. A lot of times, they're the color green. Yeah, they might be slimy. They live around swamps. Yeah, a frog. Ribbit, 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 <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> Whoa. What is this? A giant red circle. Whoa, with some balls right here. Yellow and black. Ooh, and a blue stripe around the top. Hey, I wonder what it happens when you put the ball right here. Whoa, do you see it? It's going around and around. Yeah, it looks like a circle. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Spin around like a circle! Woohoo! I'm spinning! Oh, here's another one! Woohoo! All right, we have two more to put in there. One, two. Ready? Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Looks like another slide. Why don't we go up this step ladder and slide down this yellow slide? <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun. Wait a second, remember a slide? Yeah, that's what we were supposed to do. Go down that colorful ball slide again. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> All right, time for the slide. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look! A race car! Yeah! Start your engines! Yeah! Three, two, one! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa, look at these. Whoa, looks 
like things that you can step on. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What color are these? Looks like we have purple, orange, blue, red, and green! Whoa! Look at this! Whoa! Feels like, yeah, just a tile, but it looks like there's some water in there! Whoa! Hey, wait a second! Looks like a small ball and a big ball! Hey! And two hoops! A tall hoop and a short hoop! I have an idea! All right, let's take the small ball and dunk it on the short hoop! Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Hey, why don't we take the basketball and make some baskets? Woohoo! All right. There we go. Step one back. There we go. The third one. Yeah! <laughs> now the fourth one. Yeah! Still counts, now the fifth one. Three, two, one. Yeah, we did it. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, it looks like a bunch of pads, like a gymnastic center. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Looks like a little tunnel. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I make this go really tall and then I can jump through it. Now it's really tall. And now we can jump through it. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! That's so silly. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Looks like a lot of musical instruments. Let's see here. Ooh, we have some drums. Oh! Ooh, and some shakers. Some other shakers. Oh, a tambourine. Whoa, I have an idea. Why don't we make a song and dance together? Let's hit that music! Whoa! Cool! It looks like a sandbox! Whoa! Look! Yeah, do you see all the sand? Whoa! Whoa! I love sandboxes! Wait a second, did you see that? Yeah, when I moved the sand, this image, yeah, adjusted. Let's see. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, it changed from red when it was really tall. Now it's all green. Yeah, and it seems, yeah, normal average middle height. Ooh, and down here where it's really low, yeah, it's blue. Look, wait a second. Oh, yeah. This is a topography sandbox, cool! A topography sandbox is a sandbox that when you adjust the heights, then from there, the image adjusts. Things that are really low are blue, like a lake. Ooh, and things that are really high in the air, yeah, are red and orange. Ooh, and even white up top, yeah, like a mountain. Whoa, look at me, whoa, I'm climbing to the top of the mountain. Whoa, here's another mountain right here. Whoa, here we go, to the top of the mountain. Whoa, yeah, let's go swimming. Whoa, hey, I have a really fun idea. Let's try and make it all one level. Here we go. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, here we go. That looks pretty flat. Okay, it's not perfect. All right, watch this though. 
like I'm making art. Whoa, do you see what I made? Whoa, yeah, kind of looks like a heart, but it doesn't look that good. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes art doesn't look perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the great thing about art. Whoa, every piece is unique. All right, see you later, Sandbox. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm popping all of these bubbles. Have you ever popped bubbles before? Whoa, I love bubbles. Whoa, they're just floating in the air. Whoa, hey, cool. <laughs> A green ball. It's kind of like a bubble. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Cool! A swing! Hey, why don't we swing together? Whoa! Speaking of swinging, can you think of any animals that love to swing? Maybe one that lives in the jungle. Yeah! And they swing from tree to tree? And they sound like this. <laughs> A monkey! <laughs> Whoa, cool! A hammock! I love hammocks. Wow, they are so relaxing. Wow, I could hang out here all day long. Hey, can you think of anything that hangs out in something that looks like a hammock? Yeah, maybe a cocoon. It's an insect. And eventually, when it hangs out in the cocoon long enough, it turns into a beautiful butterfly. Can you think of the insect? Yeah, a caterpillar. Whoa. Whoa, I'm a beautiful butterfly. Wow, their wings are so colorful. Whoa, look, another swing. Oh, cool. I love swinging. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Yeah! Whoa! Watch out! Yeah! This is awesome! Wee! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look down here! Wow! It looks like five soccer balls. One, two, three, four, five! Yeah! In America, we call this game soccer but around the world, they call it football. Whoa, look over there. Yeah, looks like a goal. You think I can make five goals? <laughs> Let's try. Here we go. One, two, three, yeah, four. Yeah, I'm so good. Well, it's because I practice so much. Look at this. Wow, a rock wall. Hey, I have an idea. Show me a color and then I'll put my hand or feet on that color. Ready? Green, yeah. Another green. Okay. Blue. Red, whoa, red, yellow, whoa, yellow, whoa, yellow, blue, green, whoa, wow, I fell down. Let me use the rope to climb up to the top. Whoa, whoa, here we go. Yeah, I made it to the top. Three, two, one, whoa! Yeah, this place is awesome. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Wow, looks like some yellow rope. Wow, and a white handle. Wait a second, look. It moves on the track. It can't move it this way, but it definitely moves forward and back. I have an idea. Ready? Three, two, one. That was awesome. Let me do it again. Three, two, one. Whoa, 
Wasn't that a fun day? Hmm. Hmm. And yummy popsicles at the end. <laughs> wow, we sure did have a lot of fun, and we learned at the same time. Great job. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can't forget my shoes. <laughs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at. Today, we're at Garish Swim Club in Pasadena, California. Wow, I love this place. Yeah, it's a place where you can go swimming. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Do you like to swim? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Swimming is so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Check it out. Wonder what's inside. Whoa. Whoa, a heart. <sighs> I wonder what it says. Oh. Dear best friend, it's Valentine's Day. So come on, let's celebrate, dance, and play. Being your best friend is really cool. Come check out the surprise on the other side of the pool. Wow, that is awesome. I wonder what the surprise is. <laughs> let's go. Oh, look, pretty hearts. Wow, there's so many of them. Wow, there's all these hearts here, probably because it's Valentine's Day. Whoa! Okay, let's go find the surprise. Whoa, more hearts. Wow, oh, check it out. Whoa, hello heart. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and look at this one. Whoa. It's a heart made out of hearts. Whoa, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, I wonder where the surprise is. Oh, look at this. Whoa, it's like I'm a lifeguard. Hello. Woo. <laughs> Do you see who it is? Yeah, it's Mika. Let's go say hi. So nice sounding. Yeah. <gasps> Wait a second. Was it you that left all those hearts there for me? Yes, it was. Oh. Because you are my best friend and today is Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> well, you are my best friend and I love Valentine's Day. Me too. It's a great day to recognize and celebrate those that you love and really care about. Oh, well, I love being your best friend and I love that you are my best friend. Yeah, me too, and I love hanging out. Oh, thanks, Mika. Hey, let's play a game right now. Really? What game? Let's play Heart and Seek. Heart and Seek? Mm -hmm. Kind of sounds like hide and seek. That's right. So we have to find hearts all around, like these glasses right here. Whoa, so <laughs> fabulous. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, come on. Woo yeah, a little game of Heart and Seek. Oh, this one was pretty easy to find because <laughs> it's such a big heart. Wow, I love Valentine's Day, and I bet you can guess if this is going to sink or float. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. What else can we find here? Oh, check it out. Whoa. Wow, another heart. Yeah. Whoa, it's really heavy. But there is some air inside. I'm so excited to see if it's gonna sink or float. <laughs> this is not in the shape of a heart, but that's okay. Yeah, looks like a steering wheel. Wee, wee, wee. Whoa! Maybe it's a steering wheel for a tractor. Whoa! Or a sports car. Whoa! All right, let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Look at all the items on the table. Maybe we can throw these in the pool and see if they'll sink or float. Okay, it looks like a mug. That's pretty heavy, but 
There is some air inside. Ooh, looks like some princess wands. Wow. Whoa! Okay, let me put those right in there. <laughs> Whoa! And a jump rope! Whoa! It's pretty light! Huh, but it might also sink. I don't know! I'm so excited to find out! Oh, but look at this! Wow! A cute unicorn backpack! Wow! Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's gonna be fun to see if they'll sink or float. Oh, cool, a playground! Whoa! Wait a second. Do you see something right there? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> look at what we found! Wow! A cute teddy bear! Look at what it says. I love you! Wow! Yeah! On the lifeguard stand, we have some more things. We have... Whoa! Some blue and orange rings. Hmm. Oh, also looks like we have a water bottle. Whoa! And we have some water toys. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's go see if these will sink or float. <laughs> yes! I am so excited to find heart-shaped things for heart and seek. Ooh, I see a really big heart right here. Check it out. I bet you can guess if this is going to sink or float. This is a heart-shaped float. Ooh, so relaxing. Let's keep looking. Oh, look how cute. A teddy bear. But a teddy bear is not shaped like a heart. Hmm. <gasps> Look, do you see? There are two adorable hearts right there. Oh, so cute. All right, come on. This, this. What else can we find? <gasps> oh, my goodness, it's a microphone. And what? Hey, here are some hearts. This looks like a really cute headband. Ooh, what do you think? Hello, hello, hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Follow me, we'll find some fun things for sink or float or with my best friend, Blippi. Hey! There's more things over here, come look. Ooh, do you see any hearts on this? I see one, two hearts. And, hmm, it's inside. Oh, look at the dancer. She's so beautiful. Oh, wow, a music box. More hearts. Oh, okay, you are coming with me and oh, a heart locket. Look at that. Ooh, I wonder if there's anything inside. <laughs> Maybe we could put something in it later. <laughs> okay, microphone and a heart, and there are more things over here. Hey, look at this heart box. See? Oh, I love hearts, and I love Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow, there are more hearts inside. They look like little heart erasers with really cute smiley faces on them, and. Look, purple, my favorite color. <laughs> and, hmm, some squishy balls here. Those are not heart shaped, but really fun. So we'll hang on to those. And do you know what shape these are? That's a star. We have pink, yellow, and green. Not heart shaped, but they can come with us too for our other games. Put everything in this basket and keep looking for things. I see another heart-shaped item. Come here. Oh, what's this? It looks like it's some kind of bag or something. 
I don't know, but you're coming with us too. Okay, is that it? Oh, hey! How did this get here? <laughs> it's my hairbrush. See? The letter M for Mika. <laughs> well, this is not a heart shaped thing, but we're going to use it in our other game of sink or float. Okay, I don't. Oh, there is something else up here. Oh, look at these rings. Not heart shaped, they are circles. Okay, we have a lot of fun things. I can't wait to find Flippy and play our next game. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, Mika, you got so many items! Yeah, so did you, Flippy. Look at all that! Look at all! Here, let's set this down. Okay. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Alright! Oh, Whoa! That's a lot of stuff! Oh, Whoa. check it out! <laughs> wow! Hey. Did you find any hearts? Yeah, I did! And it looks like we got some of the same things! Yeah! Like our big floaty heart. Yeah! Oh, that yeah. was such a fun game it of really heart was. and seek! Yep! Whoa! But hey, since some of these are really heavy and yeah. some are light and some are big and small, yeah. I was actually thinking we could play a game! I was thinking the same thing! Really? What game? I was thinking we could play... Sink or Float! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so many items. Do you yeah. want to start or me? Um, you go ahead. Okay, all right. I'm gonna start with the big heart. Do you want to oh, throw yours in at yeah, the same let's time? Do it. All right, Ready? here we go. Sink or float? Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Oh. They're floating. <laughs> yeah, we knew that one was yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, check this out. Ooh. I found a orange and blue ring. Flippy, I have rings too. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we throw them in at the same time? Yeah, ready? All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look, they're going down. Oh, yeah. They're sinking. They're sinking. Oh, those must be dive rings. You're right. Yeah, so cool. You can throw them in the pool, hold your breath, dive down, and grab them. Yeah, what a yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you found a steering wheel. I know, it's so cool just grabbing hold of it and acting like I'm racing the car. Yeah. Re -re -re -re. You want to try? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Oh, careful, Mika. <laughs> whoa. All right. Can I throw it in? Yeah, go for it. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, cool. It sinks. Yeah. <laughs> That was so much fun throwing some of these items in to see if they sink or float. Hey, I wonder if we can find another place to play sink or float because we have more items. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let's grab them and go. Let's do it. <laughs> This looks like a perfect place to finish sink or float. Yeah, I agree. Let's see what we All have right. here. Woohoo! All right, remember this heart from earlier? Yeah. Yeah. You want to see what's inside? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, a rock. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you'll know what will happen with this. <laughs> It'll probably sink. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh! <Whoa. laughs> yep. All right, what about this box? Here we go. Oh, whoa! It floats! Yeah! It's really light wood! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Hey, what about this friend? Wow! Yeah! Okay. This soft <laughs> cuddly bear! Ready to go for a swim? Yeah! Okay! Woo! Woohoo! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> you <laughs> love swimming! <laughs> All right! Oh! And look! The snuggly bear I found! Oh, so cute! I love you! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Do you want to throw the backpack that I found in? Sure, I love this backpack. It's so shiny. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Woohoo! Wow. It floats. That one floats too. <laughs> wow, so many of these things are floating right now. Oh, let's see. Hey, you found two balls? Yeah. Oh, and I found one ball. Wow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. All right. Here, let's just throw these two in. Okay. <laughs> 
Here we go! Whoa! They float too! Wow! Oh, here it is. Can we find <laughs> anything that stinks? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we should do rapid fire. Oh, let's do it! All right. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Okay. Float! Float! Whoa! Sink! <laughs> oh, my brush. Woo! Whoa! Ooh, some of the wands you found. Yeah, and some of the wands that you found. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what a pretty necklace. Wow, a heart? Whoa, did you look inside? I did, and I'm there's nothing. Oh, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sinks. And this really fun jump rope. <laughs> Float. And last but not least, here we go! Oh, and Blippi, I forgot! My very special heart Valentine headband. Oh, yeah! Should we see if it sinks or floats? I would love that. All right! Whoa! It floats! Yeah! <laughs> that was so much fun playing heart and seek with you, Mika! Yeah, and playing seek or float. <laughs> yeah! I I love Sink or Float, and it was such a fun Valentine's Day with you. Yeah, I had so much fun with you, Blippi. Aw, oh, thanks! I'm so curious if I sink or float. Oh, that is a great idea. Well, good thing you're a really good swimmer. Yeah, and there's a lifeguard. Oh. Hey! Hello. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. swimming and I love Valentine's Day. Me too. I had so much fun playing with you. You're my best friend, Blippi. Oh, <laughs> Mika, you're my best friend. Aww. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yeah. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P 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 -I. I. Blippi. Blippi. Good job. And if you want to see videos with me in them, you can search for my name too. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. Yeah. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Yeah. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. And today, we're here at Uptown Jungle Fun Park in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> I am so excited to have lots of fun and exercise together. And what better way to exercise than play? Come on! Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> it's so fun, I can't wait to start playing. But first, you need to make sure you put on your grip socks. Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, they're so sticky. Ooh. <laughs> Good thing I already have mine on. Whoa, and now we can play. <laughs> Look at these ropes! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, swinging on a rope like this, it kind of feels like I'm a monkey! <laughs> Will you act like a monkey with me? <laughs> that was so silly! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! It's an entire wall filled with colorful bricks. Whoa. Some are the color green, the color blue, the color red, Whoa. <laughs> and the color yellow. Whoa. Maybe we can build something awesome. Whoa. <laughs> First, we need to get them off the wall before we can start building. Whoa. Hmm. What should we build with the bricks? Mm, maybe we can start with the house. Okay. 
One brick. Two bricks. Three bricks. <laughs> wow. I bet we can make it even taller. <laughs> Whoa. Look at it. We built the tower so tall. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, check it out. Looks like there are some paper cards. <laughs> I wonder what they say. Ooh, it looks like a game. And the first card says, find something that looks like a circle. <laughs> I bet we can find a circle. That'll be easy. Hmm, let's go look. Whoa, <laughs> there are circles all over the place. Whoa, and look at this circle. <gasps> it looks like a delicious donut. <laughs> it's a circle, but a donut has a donut hole. Really tiny circle. And it's polka dotted covered in little circles. A circle in a circle covered in circles. <laughs> we did it. Found what the first card says. Hmm, but I wonder what the second card says. The second card says, find something that you can climb on. <laughs> okay, let's go explore. <laughs> oh. We found some things to climb. There are so many cool rock walls. <laughs> yeah, I love rock climbing. Hmm, which wall should we climb first? Whoa, this one is made out of ropes. <laughs> that one looks really colorful. Whoa, look at this one. Wow, it's so colorful. It's green and yellow and red and black. <laughs> I think I'm gonna climb this one. But first, safety first. <laughs> we need to get a harness. Yeah. First, when you rock climb, you wanna put on a harness. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm harnessed in, the only other thing you need to do is hook into the rope. <laughs> yeah, the rope is very important. It's called an auto belay. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big word. <laughs> but auto belays are really important because if you slip or you need to fall off because your arms are really tired, <laughs> you can. And the auto belay will float you gently to the ground. <laughs> okay, I am so excited to climb this wall. Let's hook in. We're all ready to climb. We made it to the top! Woohoo! <laughs> and now it's time to come down, so I'll use the auto belay. Here we go! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! That was some awesome rock climbing! <laughs> okay, now we should unhook and see what the next card says. Okay, it says. Find something that you can jump on. <laughs> I think I know something we can jump on. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! The next thing we need to find is something to jump on. Hmm. And I know the perfect thing. Trampolines! Whoa! <laughs> Trampolines are so much fun! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You can make small jumps, <laughs> like a little rabbit, or really big jumps, like a kangaroo. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about let's count how many jumps we do? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten! Whoa! Whoa! That was a lot of jumping. Ten jumps! Whoa! Whoa! Well, I think we should find the next thing on the card. Okay, let's see what it says. Find something to slide down. <laughs> let's go see if we can find something to slide down. Come 
on! Whoa! We found it! Something to slide down. Whew. And this yellow slide looks really steep, but really fun! <laughs> Let's slide down it. Are you ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> now, let's see what the next card says. Find something red? Hmm. Found some really cool things, but something red? Hmm. We'll really have to look for that one. Come on! Whoa! Look! It's monkey bars and a tire! Whoa! We're still looking for the color red. <laughs> Oh, this is green, and the tire and road is black <laughs> and yellow, but nothing's red. Keep your eyes open. Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Nothing here. Do you see anything that is the color red? Whoa, yeah! <laughs> Good job! It's a red tunnel, and it looks like it's woven with red ropes. <laughs> I'll be on the other side. See you soon. Whoa! <laughs> it's so bumpy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was so much fun climbing through the red tunnel. But we still have one card left. Let's see what it says. Find somewhere you can dance. But you can dance everywhere. Hey, let's dance together! <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. You can sing, dance, twist, and shout. Do whatever you want to get the wiggles out. Shake it up, shake it down. Shake those wiggles out of town. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Sing, dance, twist, and shout. Do whatever you want to get the wiggles out. Shake it up, shake it down. Shake those wiggles out of town. Wiggle, 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 yeah. 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 Come on and sing it loud. We're gonna dance and twist and shout it. can sing so much fun with you today here at Uptown Jungle Fun Park in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> 
Okay, here I go. Go, Libby! Woo! at Woodwork Park City. In Utah, yeah. <laughs> I sure do love winter activities. Me too, it's so fun and it's snowing so much. Oh, I love the snow. It's so much fun. Yeah. Ooh, and I also love winter sports. Oh, I've never tried a winter sport before. Really? No. Well, maybe we could explore some winter sports. Oh, I would love that. And then maybe we could become better, better athletes. Athletes. Yeah, and I actually know the perfect place to meet some really good athletes. <gasps> the Winter, Winter Olympics. Olympics! Yes, yeah. that's such a good idea! Yeah. The Olympics are where a bunch of athletes from all over the world come together and compete. Yeah, and millions of people from all over the world watch the games and they cheer on their favorite athletes and their favorite countries and the winners get medals. Cool! Yeah. yeah, and the Winter Olympics are when they do that, but on snow or ice. That's right. Whoa, cool. Oh, and I want to write everything down so we can remember what we learn on our journey. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. I am so excited to learn so much. Yeah, I bet we're going to become really good athletes. I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Ready, Blippi? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, it's very slippery. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, Mika! Blippi! Do you see that? I do! It's a real, real bobsled! <laughs> wow! It's so much bigger than it seems, yeah. like in pictures. I've never seen one in real life before. Wow, and it's so cool looking. It's the color gray and blue. Yeah, one of your favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, and look down here. What is it? They look like giant blades. Like Something you'd see at the bottom of an ice skate. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, and I actually know what those are called. Those are runners of the bobsled. Runners, ah, wow. cool. And it looks so fast. Yeah, and how bobsledding works is a team of four for this bobsled <laughs> grab onto it. And then they oh, yeah. sprint really as fast, fast as they can. Really, really and then all of a sudden, they jump in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And once they're in, they're very aerodynamic. Yep. And then they go down the track. Whoa! Whoa! So yeah, watch out a corner. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, there's another corner flipping. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome. So fun. Whoa! 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 Oh, all right. Whoa, we're Whoa. almost to the end of the track. Wow, great job. Wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, who are you? I'm Kurt Thomas Savage, and I'm an Olympic bobsledder. An Olympic what? bobsledder? Wow. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah. Whoa. That means you're a really good bobsledder. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. <laughs> yeah, so you have raced these before in the Olympics? I went to three Olympics. Wow, wow. that's really impressive. <laughs> yeah. Did you win any medals? I won two medals. Two medals? I happen to have them with me. <gasps> Whoa, cool. One gold medal. Whoa, wow. check it out, Mika. Cool, that means you got first place. Cool, gold medal. Ooh, and one heavy. silver medal. Whoa. And a silver medal. That means they got second place. Wow, that looks Whoa. so cool. Yeah, and they are very heavy. Yeah, wow. Whoa. All right, well, here you go. Wow. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, and we're actually exploring and we're trying to become better, better athletes. athletes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could you help us? Sure. To be a good bobsledder, you have to be really strong and really fast. Oh, well, I know someone who's really strong and really fast. <laughs> My best friend, Blippi. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, <Blippi. laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? <gasps> yeah! What? I would love to go 
Wow, bob sledding. Wow, that's wow. an amazing opportunity. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. How do we get started? Well, to be a good bob setter, we're gonna have to first warm up. Okay. okay so we can jog in place okay. a little. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm getting warmer already. Oh yeah. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> We're also going to have to move our bodies by stretching. Okay. okay. So we can stretch this way. Okay. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Oh, stretch your legs. Stretch this hey. way. Leg up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Stretch this way. Very important to warm up and stretch for every sport. Yep. Stretch this one. Warm up okay. our backs. Okay. okay. And our arms, too. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Whoa. So all these ways we're learning to move our body. Whoa. Whoa. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> Okay. Wow. All right. I feel pretty good. Oh, I want to write this down so we can remember how to be really good athletes. Good idea, Mika. Yeah. Can you hold my glove for me? Oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah, writing stuff down is really cool because then you can look at it back at a later time and then you can remember what you learned. Yeah, I do not want to forget. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So, so what do we, we learn? We hmm. need to move our body. Move our body. Yeah. Oh, and stretch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Move our body and stretch. That oh. way we're warmed up. All right. Here is awesome. your glove. Thank wow. you, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, I have a stopwatch. I can time you on the bobsled. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, oh, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Whoa, this is so amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have our pilot. He's going to be driving the sled. Then we have the second person sitting, number two. You're going to be riding number three. <laughs> and I'm going to be the brakeman in the back. All right. Oh. I'm excited. But first, you're going to have to wear a helmet. Oh, yeah. First things first, safety first. That's right. We'll have so much fun, Flippy. I'm going to time you. See you at the bottom. All right. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Should we go see what time we got? Let's go talk to Mika. All right. <laughs> wow. It was so much fun. Whoa, and Whoa. it's so slippery. Hey, Mika. Hey, baby. Whoa. That was amazing. Yeah, it was. What was our time? 49.03 seconds. Whoa, that was so fast. Really fast. How was it? Wow, it was so intense. Just going down the hill, taking a turn this way, Whoa. taking a turn Whoa. that way. Whoa and every muscle in my body was just so tense. Whoa, that sounds really exciting. <laughs> yeah. You did a really great job. Oh, thank you so much. Aww. Yeah, and thanks for teaching me how to bobsled. Yeah, <laughs> and for teaching us how to be really good athletes. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Now that you've learned about bobsledding, you can watch bobsledding in the Winter Olympics. Whoa, cool. Yeah. We sure will. Yeah, right? we'll definitely watch it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye, Bye Great. Thanks again. <laughs> See ya. Hey, wow. Blippi, we need to remember how to be good athletes. Oh, yeah. Oh, will you hold that for me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Let's check out what we wrote down earlier. Yeah, look back in the notebook. I definitely learned bobsledding is cool. Oh, that's right. And it's so fast. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Wrote down. Let's see. Yeah, what did we learn from earlier? Do oh. you remember? Stretch. Oh, yeah. And Warm up. Uh-huh. And, and move our your body. Cool. Oh. All right, well, maybe we can keep exploring to see how else we can be really good athletes. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's, Let's go. go! Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! 
Yeah. We made it to a cool looking building. Yep, this is the Utah Olympic Oval. Yeah, and this is where Olympians and potential Olympians come to train. Yeah, hey, Flippy, this will be a great place for us to learn how to be better, better athletes. athletes. Great idea, let's go meet someone. Come on. Wow! Whoa. Check it out, Mika, we made it! Yeah, this place is fabulous! Yeah, and Whoa. it's so cold! It is cold! <laughs> hey, maybe it's because there's ice here! Look, Blippi! Whoa, cool! And it looks like a racetrack! Yeah! You know a track where you see people running really fast around and around the track? Yeah, but this is with ice! Yeah! Oh! <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah, that was so... Did you see that skater? Yeah, there's an oh. ice skater on ice. Wait, I think he was a speed skater. Oh yeah, and speed skaters are great athletes. Yeah, really good athletes. Maybe we can meet one later and then we can become better, better athletes. athletes. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Look at that. It looks like an ice rink. Yeah, you've probably seen a rink like this before. Maybe with some figure skaters Yeah, in there. Ooh, I love figure skating. <laughs> or maybe a hockey player. Oh yeah, you might have seen a hockey game on a rink like this before. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if we could get skates and go on the ice ourselves. Oh, good idea. That sounds like fun. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. Good. Oh, good. We have a lot of skates here. Oh yeah, I have a lot of skates. Are you two wanting to skate? Yeah. yeah. Actually, we're trying to become better athletes. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, that is so awesome. Here, let me set you up, okay? Cool. <laughs> we're gonna go so fast. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited to get my ice. <laughs> I think these will fit you. Thank you. Whoa, cool, Whoa. Mika. And these are great for you. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. All right, let's go. See ya. See you, thanks. Whoa. All right. So excited. Me too. Whoa. I can't wait to get on the ice. I know. I Whoa. wonder if these are going to keep our feet nice and warm. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> look at this cool skate. Whoa, yeah, and look at the bottom. That's a really sharp blade. I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, don't do that. This will be really great on the ice. Skate, go really smooth, and hopefully not fall down. But <laughs> that might happen. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Ooh, these laces are really long. They're really long. Yeah, and they're like shoelaces. But they're skate laces instead. Yeah. Okay. Get them on the hooks there. Go. How fast do you think you're going to go, Mika? Oh, I might go pretty fast. Oh, you might not yeah. even see me all go so fast. <laughs> you're just going to be so blurry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. Ooh, and check it out. Yeah, they're nice and silver and shiny looking. Yeah. Whoa, cool. All right. Gonna look like a real professional skater. Yeah, I wonder what we're gonna learn. I don't know, but I'm excited. Yeah. Feel good? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, Mika, be careful. Okay, I will. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Really slippery. Whoa. Whoa. You have to have really good balance when you're skating on ice. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Watch out. All right. Woohoo. Whoa. Nice turn, Blippi. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to try. Whee. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. I can even skate backwards. Whoa, let me see. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Good job. Nice. Yeah. Wow. wow! It's really cold out here too. Yeah, I love how smooth the ice is. Yeah, it just feels like we're floating. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! Whee. Whoa! 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 Come Whoa. check this out, Mika. Hey, it looks this? like a finish line. You're right. I wonder if this is for speed skaters. I bet it is. They race around the track and then. <gasps> 
Wait, Mika! <laughs> Did you just see that? That was the fastest skater I've ever seen. No. Oh, here she comes again. Whoa! Whoa! How does she go that fast? I don't know, but that's definitely a speed skater. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I wonder if she can help us become better athletes. That's a great idea. Yeah. Maybe she'll stop right here and oh, talk to oh, us. I hope so. Oh, okay. She's coming around. She's okay, coming around. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Here she comes. Okay. Hey. Hello. Hello. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Good. Whoa, what's your name? I'm Kristen Santos. I'm a short track speed skater. Wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, how long have you been speed skating for? I've been speed skating for about 18 years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. So were you skating when you were a little kid? Yeah, I started figure skating when I was three and then I changed to speed skating when I was nine. Oh, oh. we know what figure skating is. Yeah. yeah that's when you go like this. Yeah, it's a little dance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. <laughs> and then, now, she is a speed skater. Yeah, so fast. Whoa. And I really like what you're wearing. It looks like you can go really fast in those clothes. Yeah, so we wear these tight suits so that we can go fast and there's no air resistance, so ah. we're aerodynamic. Then we wear protective gloves and helmets and glasses. Whoa. Wow. Speaking of gloves, look Whoa. at those, Mika. Yeah. What is that? So those are protective? Um, so these are so that we can put our hand down on the ice when we go around the corners. Oh. If we're going fast and have to do a tight corner, we put our hand down and it keeps it gliding. Wow, Whoa. that's so cool. Really cool. Speaking of cool, look at her <gasps> skates. Those They're are so, so long. Yeah. yeah, our skates are 17 inches long. Wow. wow. Yeah, much longer than ours, huh, Blippi? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they so long? So these help us get more push off of the ice so we can go faster. Oh, wow, cool. neat. <laughs> well, we're actually trying to become really great athletes yes. ourselves. Yeah, maybe you can teach us something about speed skating. Yeah. yeah, so to speed skate, we have to get really low and okay. bring your knees to a 90 degree angle. Okay. And then to do a straightaway push, you're gonna push to the side and it'll bring you forward. Wow! Whoa! Oh, it does feel like you go faster when you're low like that. Yeah. It's so cool when you turn your plate, you can push off. Yeah! <laughs> oh, cool. So that's how you do a straightaway. And then to do a corner, you have to be able to do crossovers. Crossovers? crossovers? What's that? Yeah, so that's where we bring our outside leg and we bring it over our inside Whoa. leg to switch them. Oh! <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. How do you practice that? Yeah, so we can practice that with a bucket. Bucket? Oh. Huh. Yeah, so I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay. Okay. Wow! Oh, that was really cool. Do you guys cool. want to try? I'll try. Yeah. Sure. All right. <laughs> Good luck, Mika. Thanks, Blippi. <laughs> Okay, so I'll put the bucket down, lean onto it, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's really hard. Whoa. Thanks, Blippi. Good job. You wanna try it? Uh, sure, I guess. All right, you got this. Okay, <laughs> so the bucket's used to stabilize? Yeah. All right, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I'm doing it! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! That was really good, Blippi! Yeah, Whoa, that was so you. good, guys! Thank yeah. you! And now that we know crossovers and how to start, can we take a lap? Oh, yeah! yeah. All right! So first here, we're gonna do a straightaway push to get into the corner. And now at the corner, we're gonna do our crossovers. Okay. Whoa. Good job, guys. Whoa. And now we're back at the straightaway, so we're gonna keep doing those straightaway pushes. Whoa. <laughs> and now that we hit the corner again, we're back to the crossovers. Wow, we went Whoa. so fast. That was really fun. Good 
job, guys. Thank you. I don't know how to stop, really. Whoa. Oh, good like job. that. Good job, Mika. <laughs> nice, Flippy. Yeah, thank you so much. Good job, thank guys. You. You're a great teacher. Yeah. And a really good athlete. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and since we're trying to become really good athletes ourselves, we're curious. Do you have any other tips on how to become a great athlete? Yeah. Yeah, great athletes need to fuel their bodies, right? So I eat really healthy. And to be Ooh. a good athlete, you guys should too. Whoa. Yeah, well, that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, actually, I am kind of hungry myself. Are yeah, you? Me too, yeah. Well, maybe we should go get something healthy to yeah, eat. Yeah, let's get a healthy snack. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching us how to speed skate. You're yeah. welcome. How to be a great athlete. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to keep practicing. Cool. Okay. All yeah. right. Good luck. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> let's watch her for one lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. She's going so fast. So fast. Yeah. I wish I could go as fast as her. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe with a lot of practice, someday you oh. will, Mika. Oh, thanks, Flippy. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Whoa. <laughs> She's amazing. Yeah. Shall we go get something healthy to eat? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> so much fun learning how to speed skate. Yeah, what a fun day. And Kristen went so fast. Yeah, way faster than we went. Yeah, we need to practice a lot. Yeah, we but do. You did a really good job, Blippi. Oh, you did too, Mika. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, and remember what Kristen said about being a good athlete? Yeah, she said to refuel your body with healthy food. Yeah, and I have some healthy snacks right here. You do? Yeah, check it out. Yum. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? Whoa, cool, half of a banana. Yep. Which is a fruit. Yep, <laughs> and I also have some apple slices. Ooh, which are also a fruit. Yep, and broccoli and carrots, and those are vegetables. Yum, <laughs> what are you gonna try? Mm, I'm gonna have a carrot. Ooh, I'm gonna try some banana. All mm. right, eat up. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm. how was it? Mm. Really yummy mm. and healthy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I also have some water. You do? Yep. Oh, thanks, Mika. You're well, welcome. Well, you come very prepared. I try. Yeah, it's very important to stay hydrated when you're doing active things. Yep, good job. Mm. Ah, yum. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel water. better already. Yeah, me too. Wow. We sure did learn a lot today on how to be great athletes. We really did. We're getting a lot of good tips. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I should write it down in the notebook so we don't forget. Oh, great idea. Okay. Well, what did we just learn? Okay, Kristen said to be a good athlete, we should... Refuel our bodies. Yes, fuel our bodies. With healthy food. With healthy <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Well, should we keep exploring so then we can figure out how we can keep becoming better, better athletes? athletes? Yes, yeah. we should. Okay, ready? Yep. Let's go! Whoa! So cool! We made it to a snowy mountain! Yeah, this is Park City Mountain! Yeah, it's the largest <laughs> ski resort in the United States! Yep, that's so cool! Yeah! <laughs> and speaking of cool, Whoa. we have snow! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Look at this! It's so light! <laughs> yeah, Whoa. it's fun! Ooh. And it's so white! It really is! I love snow! And it's so cold! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Blippi, look! There are people skiing and snowboarding! Whoa! And they're so good! They're really good. Wow, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yeah! Hey, Mika, maybe if we meet one of these athletes, they can teach us how to be a better athlete! Oh, that's such a great idea, Blippi! Wow! Oh. I can't wait to learn how to be a great athlete! Oh. Hey. Did you see that? That was so <laughs> cool! Wow! Hey, you two. My name is Mike Schultz, Monster Mike. I'm a Whoa. Paralympic gold medalist snowboarder. Wow. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Yeah, hi, I'm Mika. Hey, so great to meet you. What are the Paralympics? 
So Paralympic Games are just like the Olympics, only it's for athletes with different physical disabilities. Oh, cool. cool. I'm a left leg amputee. I'm missing yeah. my leg from the knee down. So I've got a robot leg. Whoa, Whoa that's cool. very cool. <laughs> wow. So I actually built this after I got into a snowmobile racing accident so wow. I could continue in all the sports I love, like dirt bikes, snowmobiles, and snowboarding. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and you said you won a gold medal? Yeah, that must mean you're very good at snowboarding. Yes, I've got lots of time on my snowboard and I've compete all over the world with other athletes with disabilities. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of work. Uh, we practice all the time. We have to train both our, our physical side and our mental side. Wow. wow! Cool! Well, we are trying to become better athletes, and so I'm thinking you could help us. Yeah, do you oh, mind? That sounds like a great plan. I can show you some tips on a snowboard. Yes! yes. Are you guys ready, or you need a few things yet? Uh, uh, we need yeah. some things. Yeah, it looks like you're missing your snowboard and boots yeah. and yeah. a helmet. So yeah. go ahead down to the rental shop. OK. Yeah, get yourself snowboard boots and a helmet. Meet me back up here and we'll do some snowboarding. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. See ya. All right. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, yeah, we made it to the rental shop. Yes, this is a great place to get fitted so we can go snowboarding. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> me too. Let's go. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, this place is awesome. Yeah, whoa. <gasps> So many of them and colorful. Oh yeah, like this one is yellow. Yep, and this one is orange. Ooh, and this one is blue. Ooh. Oh, cool. Hey, and look at all these helmets, Blippi, so you can stay nice and safe. Oh, cool. I wonder if we're gonna get a helmet for snowboarding. Oh, I bet we will. Yeah, I love being safe. <laughs> Me too. Ooh. All right, check this out. Whoa, what's Whoa. in here? Oh. Wow, snowboards. Whoa, cool. And did you notice the skis? There's two skis, mm -hmm. one for each foot. Right. So and there's the, two. Yeah. And with a snowboard, it's just one board for your two feet. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, shall we go get fitted? Yeah, I can't wait. Jess, welcome to Park City. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Are you guys wanting to ski today or snowboard? Snowboard. Oh, that's so fun. Why don't we get you set up with some equipment? Okay. Right. Follow me right over here. Okay. Wow. Okay, whoa, cool. All right. all right, I'm gonna send the rental tech right over, so if you wanna take a seat, we'll get you all geared up for the day. All right, thank all you. All right, yeah. bye guys. Wow. I'm so excited. I know, I feel so official. That can get fit in the snowboard. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Oh, oh nice. good. How are you? Good. What's your name? I'm Jonathan. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, Jonathan. I'm Mika. So, what do you do here? I'm a rental tech. I'll be putting together your snowboards for you. Oh, oh cool. cool. <laughs> we are very excited and we're ready. We're so ready. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, boards. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah. Whoa. Are these the boots? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Wow. wow. That was awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited. Me too. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> You made yeah. it. Looks, looks like you got some gear with you. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, so I'm adjusting the air pressure with this little air pump. Wow. Oh, cool. So I can hit some big jumps. Whoa. Huh? Awesome. Neato, huh? All right. So I guess we're going to start off. Have either of you snowboarded before? Nope. 
I have. All right. <laughs> Very good. So you know the basics. Yep. So you're starting from scratch. Yep. All right. Well, this is going to be fun. All right. I think so. <laughs> so rule number one with snowboards, when you put them down on the ground, you want to set them down on the bindings. Because what happens if you set them down like this and you're on a hill? Oh, do you slip and slide? Bye -bye. Yeah. yeah, you're chasing after your snowboard. Oh, no. OK. What side do you kick a soccer ball with, right or left? Um, uh, My right. All right. So that likely means you're going to be called regular foot. There's regular foot and goofy foot. And the difference goofy between foot. those, yeah, goofy, it's kind of goofy. Yeah, you know what's funny? <laughs> I'm goofy foot. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that regular foot means you're going to put your left foot downhill first when okay. you're riding. So now I'm going to have you put your other foot, your right foot, right here. OK. And I want you to grab my hand. I want you to scoot back and forth a little bit, just, just a little bit, just a little wiggle. Wow. See how slippery that is? It's really slippery. <laughs> how you doing over there, Blippi? You're oh, ready to rock good, aren't you? So <laughs> I'm <good>. ready. <laughs> So okay. then I want you to do that same scooch back and forth. A little scooch, scooch, scooch. Ooh, it's like I'm dancing. A little more, a little more, a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's going to do great. Yeah, you are. Wow, I'll tell you what, the most important thing, like I said before, is knowing how to stop. Yeah, and that's important. Have you ever watched snowboarding before? Yes. What do they do when they stop? Uh, I don't know. They go sideways. <laughs> oh, that's sideways right. Sideways down the hill, and they don't dig their heels in. OK. Yeah, it's kind of like a snow plow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bend uh, your knees a little bit. Yeah, Mika. OK, release that edge. Then slide Woo! forward. OK, heels. There you go. OK. Right? So that's how you stop. You dig your heels in. Cool. <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at Yeah, he's good, isn't he? You're yeah, right. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, whoa. So now the next step is to go on your toe side. OK. So what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your tip down that way okay. and swoop around me. Woo! There you go. Go sideways. Woo! Whoa. Toe That's tip. tricky, isn't it? That is tricky. Let's try it again. Let's let's try and slide just a little bit farther. OK. Toes or heels? Toes. Whoa. There you go. That is tricky. Now what I want you to do is is slide nice and smooth sideways. OK. Bend your knees a little bit. Slide, slide, slide. Whoa. Take your toes in. There you go. Oh, I'm taking you with me. High five. Oh, thanks. That was good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Whoa. So that's the first step. Whoa. Are we taking them off to go up? We got, I got to go get my snowboard. Oh, all right. <laughs> That was so cool. All right, high five. Thank you so much. Good job, Mika. Nice, nice wow, work. Wow, good job, Blissy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Well, that was really fun. Yeah, you did a really good job, <laughs> Mika. Oh, thanks, Blippi. Well, that's a super high five for the first lesson. Yeah. Oh, thank excellent. You. Thanks for teaching me. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow, I see how you have to practice a lot to be a good athlete. Yeah, and you must practice a lot. Oh, absolutely. My teammates and I, we practice all the time on the snow, in the gym, and even in the classroom. We're watching videos and learning what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. So wow. we're nonstop learning. Wow, yeah. cool. Well, before any of the big competitions, do you get nervous? Oh, absolutely. I get I get nervous a lot. And the best way I deal with it is I try and calm my mind. I take three deep breaths. And then I think about what I'm about to do, and I visualize exactly what I want to do. Wow. Mm, that's some really good advice. Yeah, it you know, is. Like practicing and focusing and calming your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That was a great lesson. Thank yeah. you so much for teaching Mika how to snowboard. Yeah, oh, that's, that's so much fun. Another high five. I oh, love high five. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to strap in my board. I'm going to go make some runs, meet up with my teammates. OK. Cool. And I'm going to see you guys on the slopes sometime in the future, huh? Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah, well, you guys have fun. fun. All right. Wow. That was awesome. I thought you did such a good job.
Oh, Nico! Wow. We'll definitely have to do this again sometime. Yeah! So much fun being on the snowy mountains. Yeah. Wow, and all the snow. It's beautiful here. Yeah! And it just seemed like you were going so fast, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I know how to stop now. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Alexander. All right, Bye. see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! It's amazing. Yeah, look how fast he's going. Wow. I do not want to forget what we learned about how to become better athletes. Oh, yeah! Let's write, write it down. down. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Will you hold these for me? Sure. Thank no you. No problem. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get the notebook out here. Okay, so today we learn. Hmm. Let's see. Well, he we does practice a lot. Practice, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, calm your mind. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! And remember, he takes three deep breaths. Yeah, so to breathe. breathe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think we have everything we need to become better athletes. athletes. Yeah. yeah. Let's. It was so much fun learning how to become better, better athletes. athletes. Yeah, yeah, we got to check out some new sports today. Yeah. Oh yeah, you wrote down a lot of things that we learned. Yeah, we learned things when we were in bobsledding. Ooh, speed skating. Yeah, and snowboarding. Yeah. Yeah, those <laughs> athletes were so talented and very smart. Yeah, they were. Okay, let's see what they told us. Um, oh, we need to warm, warm up. up. Move our bodies. Yeah, and stretch. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and remember, we need to fuel our bodies with healthy, healthy food. food. Yeah, I love healthy food. Me too. <laughs> and we need to calm our minds. Oh, <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to breathe. <sighs> yeah, that wow. feels nice. <laughs> yeah, it does. Wow. That was so much fun learning about the Winter Olympics. Yeah, the Winter Olympics are awesome. <laughs> yeah, they are. And it was so much fun learning how to become better, better athletes. athletes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Nice. Good job! Oh, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> All right, see you again! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Wait, Mika! Did you notice how all of those athletes seemed like they were having fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should ride our inner tubes down this big hill. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's have some fun. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yes. All right, here you go. Ooh. Okay, perfect. like this? Yeah, perfect. And pull on. Ready? Okay. Uh, 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 here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So 
and sing this athlete song. I hop, I leap right through the air and sing this athlete song. I huff, I puff, I never give up. I sing this athlete song. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Today, we are here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> this place is the world's only interactive percussion and drum museum. And I am so excited to go inside and learn all about drumming. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you hear that? It sounds like someone's already drumming. <laughs> Let's go see who it is. Come on. Nice to meet you, what's your name? Rob. Oh, Rob, you are really good at drumming. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. We're looking to learn all about drums today, but I've never seen a drum that looks like this. Oh, well this is called a log drum because it's made out of wood. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. How does it work? So it has these two tongues cut into it that you play with these mallets. <laughs> Do you want to try it? <gasps> I would love to try. <laughs> okay. We're gonna use these mallets and play on the tongues. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, the log drum's pretty fun. That was great. Do you wanna see some other instruments? Whoa, I would love to. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take those. And let's uh let's go further into the museum. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Look at it! This looks like a really, really, really big drum. <laughs> what it is. What's this one called? It's called a gong drum. A gong drum? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do I use this mallet to play the gong drum? You do. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's really fun playing a gong because a really big gong drum makes a really big sound. <laughs> Oh, thanks for showing me this. You're welcome. <laughs> so you've played a couple instruments now. Do you want to learn how to keep a beat? Oh, well, what's a beat? A beat is a rhythm that plays in the background of other music that repeats over and over again. Whoa, yeah, I'd like to play a beat. <laughs> okay, well, let's try a really easy one. We'll do this by clapping our hands. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to clap and we're going to count up to four. We're going to do it twice. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Count to four with us and we'll clap and make beats together. All right, ready? I'm ready. One, one two, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Do you want to try it on the drum? Yeah. You can make beats on a drum? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the beats on a drum. You can do it with clapping at home. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Making beats is a lot of fun especially with a big drum. <laughs> wow. I never knew drums had so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Are all drums made out of wood and material like this? No, I have a bunch of instruments over here made out of metal. Do you want to see them? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> all right, let's oh. do it. I'll take this. Oh, look at it. Yeah, all of these drums are made out of metal. Uh, but. They don't really look like drums. <laughs> oh, these are part of a bigger family of instruments called percussion instruments. Whoa, well, what's a percussion instrument? Percussion instruments are anything, any instruments that we play by hitting, shaking, or scraping. Oh, so percussion means it's an instrument that you hit, <laughs> shake, whoa, or scrape. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wow. Whoa, and what are these instruments' names? Oh, yeah, so we have a desk bell like you would see in a fancy old hotel. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have cowbells there in the back. Oh, cowbells, like the animal? Yeah, you put them around their necks so they don't get lost. Oh, you don't want to lose your cow. <laughs> uh, we have altar bells, which are used in old churches. Oh, that's cool. They're so shiny. <laughs> oh, and Rob, what's that instrument in the back? That instrument back there is called a thumb piano or a kalimba. A kalimba? Kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> kalimba. 
Kalimba. <laughs> that one's fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow, those are some pretty amazing percussion instruments. Do you want to try this one back here? Ooh, that one's another really big one. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> wow, what's this instrument called? This instrument is called a tam-tam. Whoa, hey, and look at this. It has a big mallet just like the gong drum. Hmm. And the tam-tam is big just like the gong drum too. Huh, but is there something different about this one? Yeah, it's made entirely out of metal. Whoa. It's just like the gong drum, but because it's made of metal, maybe it'll sound different. <laughs> Can I play it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Tam, tam. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> tam tams are really, really loud. <laughs> Can I hit it again? Maybe this time a little softly. <laughs> are so many amazing percussion instruments made out of wood and metal. Hey, can you show us some more instruments? Sure, come with me. <laughs> I can't wait to keep drumming. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look at this place. <laughs> there are so many amazing instruments. Rob, where are we? We're in an exhibit called Evolving Sounds where I keep instruments from all over the world and from different styles of music. Whoa, they look so cool. Wow, and this one's really big. <laughs> What's this instrument called? This instrument's called a vibraphone. Do you want to hear how it sounds? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds so beautiful. And spacey. <laughs> wow, and it kind of looks like a piano. Yeah, it has bars here that kind of look like the white keys on a piano and bars here that look like the black keys. <laughs> Flippy, I know you play a little bit. Do you want to try? Okay. <laughs> Let's try playing the vibraphone. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! I really like the vibraphone because it can make beautiful music. Or Silly sounds. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rob, is this also a vibraphone? Yes, this is actually a very special vibraphone. It's got a, it's got its own name. It's called the Celestophone, Ooh. and it's actually made out of meteorites or space rocks. Whoa! No way! That's so cool. Look, it's just like the other vibraphone, except this vibraphone is really sparkly and reflective, kind of like a mirror. <laughs> hey, I can see myself. <laughs> wow. Would you play a song for us? Sure. <laughs> wow! That was great! Whoa! You're really good at playing a lot of instruments. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, that was so cool hearing the Celestophone. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this other instrument is. Oh yeah? It's a drum. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one of my favorite drums. This is called a snare drum. Whoa. You've probably seen it if you've ever seen a parade. Wow, <laughs> could you play it for us so we can hear out sounds? Absolutely. I love a snare drum. It sounds so cool, like I'm in a marching band, marching along. <laughs> oh, and I know what these are too. Oh yeah? These are cymbals. <laughs> Crash cymbals, but I didn't know they were percussion instruments. Yeah, because you hit them together. <laughs> oh yeah. If something is hit together, or you scratch it, or you shake it, it's percussion. <laughs> you mind if I crash these cymbals? Please. Here we go. It's gonna be really loud. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you play the snare drum 
and I'll play the crash cymbals, and we can be a band. That sounds great. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We played together! <laughs> hey, we were a band! Yeah! yeah. That's when people play music together! <laughs> wow, well, thank you for teaching us about these amazing instruments and <laughs> playing the snare drum with me while I played the cymbals. <laughs> well, are there other instruments we can learn to play? Sure, let's go this way! <laughs> okay! <laughs> wow, look at this place! It's so cool! There are so many percussion instruments and drums. <laughs> yeah, Blippi, this is Groove Space. So this is a place where you can take any instrument you want and play whatever kind of music you feel like. <laughs> Good, well, I feel like playing all kinds of music today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I actually have to go practice. Do you want to stay here and play a bit? Yeah, that sounds great. You go practice and I'll play with some of the drums and instruments. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. I'll see you soon. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to play some fun drums and percussion instruments, but I do have one problem. Hmm, which one should I play first? <laughs> we'll just have to decide. Hmm, well, there's a lot of drums. Whoa, look at this. There are drums that are really big, and this one is a circle. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. But drums, they come in all sizes and shapes like this. <laughs> yeah, this one right here, look, it's a rectangle. <laughs> yeah. It's a rectangle with four sides. Two of them are a little longer, so it's not a square. It's a rectangle. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm, and what else should we play with? Whoa, look at this. Yeah, have you seen one of these before? <laughs> this is a shaker. You just go on the side with your hand and shake. <laughs> Whoa. We have a small shaker, but if you want, we also have really big shakers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow! Yeah, this one's kind of silly looking. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in beads and is the color red and black. <laughs> but the shaker under it is the color white. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what things we can use to make beats and really fun drum sounds. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this instrument, it kind of looks like a drum, but it has all these little things on the side. Yeah, so when you shake it, <laughs> it jingles and rattles. <laughs> this is a tambourine. Whoa, <laughs> and I love playing tambourines. They make such a fun sound. That is so much fun, playing all kinds of drums and percussion instruments. But we should probably find Rob. Hmm. You are really good at playing drums. <laughs> Thanks, Blippi. Whoa, what kind of drum is this? This is a drum set, so it's a bunch of drums that you play as one instrument. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many drums and cymbals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks really cool. <laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? I would love to give it a shot. <laughs> All right. Sounds so fun. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Ooh. So first, I need my drumsticks. And do I sit here? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All ready to play. Uh, but Rob, do you have some tips on playing a drum set? Yeah, do you remember the counting we did earlier when we were clapping? Yeah, remember? We counted, clapped our hands, and made beats. <laughs> All right, so this time, your right hand is gonna do exactly what we did when we clapped earlier. It's gonna play one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then your left hand is actually gonna uh, stay in the same time, but it's just gonna play on two and four. Oh, cool. Okay, we're gonna play on this right here with our right hand and go one, two, Three, four, but only play on two and four with our left hand. <laughs> but 
The tricky part is doing it at the same time. <laughs> Let's start one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now just two and four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now together. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's really fun. That was great. Well, I don't want to just play the drum set. I want to rock. <laughs> Well, thank you for the tips, Rob. It was You're so much fun learning about drums and percussion instruments and showing us around today. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I do have one more thing we could do, though. One more thing? Yeah. I have some friends coming over to play music. Would you like to join us? Oh, I would love to join you. <laughs> All right, let's go. OK, let's go. <laughs> hey! hey, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my buddy, Blippi. Whoa, hello. This looks like an awesome drum circle. <laughs> Is it okay if I drum with you? What do you guys think? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. Okay. Oh, I think we're ready to start. All right. I think we've done this a couple times. <laughs> Let's ready? try this. Can we do an impression of a thunderstorm? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Let's start. The wind is picking up. Ooh. I'm starting to hear a little bit of rain. Can you use your fingers? Starting to hear a little more rain. It's a lot of rain! Thunder! Ah! All right. It's just raining a little bit now. Really quiet rain. Oh, it's getting a little heavier. And a little louder. Okay. All right, do you guys want to try to play a rhythm together? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Uh, I'll play it once and you guys play it back to me. We'll try it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was great. Let's try it together. all about drums, percussion, and being in my very first drum circle. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I got something for you if you want to keep playing drums after you leave. Really? I would love something yeah. to keep playing drums. All right, there you go. Whoa, my very own drumsticks. <laughs> Give them a try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, they light up. They're my favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Rob. You're uh, welcome. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, I had so much fun with you learning about drums and percussion instruments here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> hey, what was your favorite instrument that we played today? 
Really? I like that one too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B L I P P I. Blippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Oh, and I need to do some more drumming. <laughs>so good to see you man yeah thanks for coming out is this your race car sure is whoa it looks so fast and really cool and hey do you notice something <laughs> you have my name on it you sure do man just for you ah <laughs> uh, thanks hey will you spell my name with me can we do it yeah all right let's do it okay here we go b l i 
P P I. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You Whoa. notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. Mm -hmm. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500 and we've got four every time we come in. What? $1,500? <laughs> that's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa. And this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah, we have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let oh. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Whoa. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how oh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down. And this is the clutch. So oh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna little know what paddles. else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. Here's something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? You yeah. don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield. And it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that, so incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head, and as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> Wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Whoa, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. <laughs> Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and... Brad. Hey, nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet Blippi, you. So, Blippi, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Oh, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, pick up a new tire, slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa, that was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Whoa, <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> 
Well, you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, help you. <laughs> oh, thanks Brad. Oh, hi Brad. <laughs> first thing you're gonna want to put on some gloves. Okay, first we wanna put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. Whew. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. That's oh, really heavy. <laughs> Whew, I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire and we put it on the race car. <laughs> now we need to put the wheel nut back on the car. And here we go. Now we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. <laughs> nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. What else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. You have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you wanna make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those G-forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. Just want to make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up. Cool. And then push on the forehead and push, push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you, know, you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. Whoa. So the steering wheel is very heavy, very it's very difficult to control the car, so you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are warmed yeah. up. So we'll Probably needs really oh, strong arms go. too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. yeah. Back. Whoa. You can make circles with us too! Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Try Thanks a lunge. Okay, yeah, here we good. go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, so here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. <laughs> ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now, the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Whoa. There's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags and what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Blippi? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. Oh, hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. The green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. But at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! And if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag. <laughs> that means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? Ooh, you would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. Okay. 
let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Flippy, do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it. The Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936, and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look. There's lots of little faces. <laughs> they're right here. Wow. And they're from so many different years. Hey, look. It has their name and the year that they won and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk when he got out of the race. But <laughs> we've, we've kept that as a tradition, and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Whoa, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah, a tradition is something that has been done for a really long time, and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk, as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind, but it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk, it's almost like you won the race. It's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> Time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Here we go. Like a pro. Woo! <laughs> Woo. Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing that you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner Trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner Trophy! A miniature one! <laughs> wow! It is so beautiful. It has wings on the side. <laughs> and it looks like it's made of actual real silver. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Whoa, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely, it was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here and I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> well, right now we're inside turn one at the garages and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> and look. Not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast. <laughs> Running, driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911, that's a long time ago. <laughs> You see, look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> hey, what's the second seat for? 
Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> Well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah, look, it's the color green and the color blue, <laughs> dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you in a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> Whoa, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> I have two bow ties. <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go, come on. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> hmm. I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something. Whoa! That was really, really fast! <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again! I think it's time for us to ride! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! We're up so high! <laughs> Whoa! Today was awesome! Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and 
even got to meet some professional race car drivers! <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Flippy. Hey, look at where I'm at now. Right now, I'm at Cares in Burien, Washington. Yeah! C-A-R-E-S. Cares! Yeah! Cares is an animal shelter. Yeah, this is where the animals live until maybe someone like you comes down to then adopt the pet. These pets need a new home. Let's see what pets are inside. Do you see this dog? Yeah, this is a really small dog. It's kind of like a baby dog. <laughs> yeah, really small dogs like this. These are called puppies. <laughs> Here you go. This is Sapphire. Oh, she's such a cute kitty. Hey, Sapphire. How are you? Oh, she's so soft. This is Cuddles. <laughs> she loves to cuddle. Oh, she's so soft. And she loves to play. That was so much fun spending some time at my local animal shelter. Well, hey, even if you can't adopt a pet, you can still come down and volunteer your time. Yeah, you can come on down and pet the pets. Maybe they'll even let you walk a pooch <laughs> or play with a cat in the little cat room. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. <laughs> Right now, I'm at Pause and Relax in Burien, Washington. Yeah, it's a daycare. Ooh, Lino, does that feel good? <laughs> yeah, a daycare that has a playground. You know, a playground that you get to play at? Yeah, this is a doggy playground, and Lino and I are playing here. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we let Lino run around? Whoa! And playgrounds are a lot more fun when there's a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's bring on some doggy friends. <laughs> Whoa, look at how many friends Lino has. Okay, now it's time for Lino's bath and haircut. Oh, I bet he's going to feel so clean and so fresh after this. <laughs> All right, let's take him inside. Here we go, Lino.
check it out. Look at this pink platform. Yeah, this is what all the pooches stand on. And this is a nice purple belly strap right here. And then a neck strap. Yeah, this is called a groomer's helper. So then it makes sure that the pooch doesn't fall off the table while it's getting groomed. Hey, come check this out. Whoa, see this toolbox? There's a lot of things that the groomers use inside this toolbox. Wow, that is so cool. All right, first we have some shampoo. This is plum flavored shampoo. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we have some clippers up here. Whoa. <laughs> That's what you put on the dog's hair and then it trims it. Ooh, this files down the nails of the dog. Let's turn it on. Whoa, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, wow. Yeah, these, yeah, these are like scissors. Yeah, but they're actually called shears. Wow, a dog's hair is a lot more fine than a human's hair. And these scissors can really cut a dog's hair really good. So let's put these on the platform. Let's put the, the red colored ones. Okay, gotta be really careful if you use these shears. Perfect. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to cut Lino's hair? Hmm, let's see. Oh, <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like their hair's already cut. Oh, look at this. Wow, a comb. Yeah, just like how you and I comb our hair and brush our hair, dogs need that too. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's put this on the platform. Okay, next to the pair of shears. All right, what else is over here? Wow, looks like we have some sanitation spray. So then when Lino's done, you sanitize everything, so then the next dog can get its hair cut. Whoa, sugar cookies? I love sugar cookies. This is sugar cookie dog perfume. <laughs> this definitely should go over there. Check this out, another drawer. Wow, there is a lot of cool things in this. Look at that. That kind of looks like a brush. But it doesn't look like a normal brush or a comb. This is called a slicker brush. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over there as well. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's see. Remember from earlier these clippers up here? Yeah, see this? These are clipper attachments. You put them on the top, and then that is what determines the length of hair. See that? Compared to that. That one's way shorter. <laughs> okay, let's bring this and a green attachment. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything we need <laughs> to cut Lino's hair. All right, so we have clippers, shears, scissors, <laughs> a comb, some dog perfume, <laughs> and a slicker brush. There's a lot more things in there that we'll probably use, but for now, this is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They took off so much hair. Look! <laughs> Whoa! This is a bunch of Lino's hair. <laughs> wow, it's so soft. Ah, yeah, I could make a pillow out of this. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you like Lino's hair? Does it smell good? <laughs> it's so silly. Wow. 
Oh, look, Lino's all done. <laughs> How does he look? Look at those big fluffy ears. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Woo. And look at his spooky bandana. <laughs> oh, there's some pumpkins on it. Ooh, and it looks like a llama with a cape. <laughs> wow. All right, Lino, we can go home now. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>
think we should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go. is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new, or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. <laughs> cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact Discs, CDs, yeah. Back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and movies. <laughs> All right. Ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. <laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Wow, cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we going to build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa, a rubber band powered car. Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool, how do you do it? So, uh, do you wanna see it go first? Oh yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm gonna twist the wheel three times, ready? Yep, one, one two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right, I am very excited, let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're gonna make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go, make a triangle. Look at that, looks like a triangle. Perfect, and then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've gotta make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh yeah, just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly, cool. so we're gonna use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. Okay. And we're gonna use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, okay, all right. So before we use hot glue, we gotta put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. Okay, wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use is this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah, even grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh, yeah. To get through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here. Here's one wheel and tire. There we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. It looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. The front, we're gonna put the axle through. Okay. Get it through. And for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay. That makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction, and then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. So we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit, so when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect. All right, well, 
How do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're gonna attach to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it Great. is. And now we do that last step where we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. Ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get set, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right. Here I go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, wow! Well, sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. And it didn't work today. <laughs> yeah. So maybe if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it, and then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one worked. It again. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this one. Wow! This is still a rubber band powered car. That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right, I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, you that won. worked. Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye bye. Did you see this car? Wow, it looks so fast. Yeah, it has wheels and tires. Ooh, and it has a green front, a blue middle. Yeah, and then a yellow back. Whoa, look in here. Looks like a lot of parts of cars. Hey, why don't we make a car? Whoa, all right. Looks like we have a lot of parts to choose from. All right. Let's see. Ooh, we have some black wheels and tires. Ooh, and some green wheels and tires. Okay, so let's pick a body. Whoa, look, we have some long bodies. We have some short bodies. Ooh, I think, yeah, right here. Yeah, and that one had a short body. So let's pick a long body. And look, my two favorite colors. I wish I could just use both but I need to pick one. Let's pick orange, okay? And then we need a front and a back. Let's see here. Why don't I use a blue front? Yeah! Oh, and we can use a blue back. There we go. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> yeah! All right, now we need to pick our wheels and tires. We have the green big ones, and the black small ones. So now we have two black wheels and tires and two green wheels and tires. All right, let's compare these two. All right, so the one we made is definitely longer. It also has green wheels and tires while this one doesn't. Hmm, hey, look, looks like there's a scale. All right, we can weigh them and see what one's heavier. All right, this one says, one pound, three ounces. All right, let's see what this one says. One pound, five ounces. So that means this one is heavier. Wow, I wish there's a place where we could race them at. Oh, whoa, look. Wow, a racetrack. Whoa, then look at these. You can raise and lower the track. Come check it out. Wow, see this? Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can race them and see which one's faster. Okay, here you go, on your marks. There you go, there you go. All right, here we go. Whoa, they're going to the top. So then gravity will pull them down. I wonder who's gonna win. There they go, three, two, one, go! We did such a great job building the faster car. Yeah, faster, slower, that's speed. Whoa, cool, yeah. Whoa, now we're on the
the roof of the museum. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a lot of black pipes. Oh, nothing inside. Hey, what are these doing here? Looks like the bottom of some shoes. Whoa, we have orange, we have green, we have blue, and we have purple. Hey, I have an idea. Huh, not really doing anything. Did you hear that? Yeah, look down here. Whoa, kind of sounds like musical instruments. Yeah, when I hit these sandal or parts of a shoe on this pipe, it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> yeah! Hey, I have a great idea. Let's hit that bass line and let's make some music with these tubes. Woo! learning about sounds with you. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah! And I sure do love dancing. Woo! Yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself. Oh, and you can't forget about the cars. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here in London, England. <laughs> And I am so excited because you and I get to go on a red bus tour. Yeah, we're gonna get to sightsee and explore different parts of London. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Check it out! It's a London bus! <laughs> I am so excited to go on a bus tour today. But before we go on a bus tour, we need to learn more about the bus. <laughs> Whoa, come on! <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, my name's Ian. I'm the bus driver. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Ian. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Whoa, will you show us around the bus? I certainly can. Whoa, okay. Let's take a look. Wow! Look at this bus! It's so big! <laughs> Wow! And do you know what color the London bus is? Hmm, yeah, it's the color red. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa, they're so big <laughs> and powerful. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the back of the bus has a trunk. <laughs> Whoa, what's in the trunk? Uh, Luggage? This is a bonnet. Oh, oh. Under the bonnet in England, it's the engine. Whoa, a bonnet. In England, a car or a bus has a bonnet. And in the bonnet is the engine. Whoa, that's so interesting. In America, it's called a hood. Yeah, in the hood, under the hood, <laughs> there's the engine. But the hood in America sometimes is in the front. But with this London bus, it's in the back. <laughs> Whoa, can we see the engine? We can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the London bus engine. Yeah. Wow. It's so big yeah. and looks complicated and it's really warm. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> time to close the bonnet. <laughs> Whoa. Ian, are those windows up at the top? Yep, because it's a double-decker bus. There's two floors. A double-decker bus? Two floors? Whoa, that's just like a building or a house. 
Ooh. Ian, can we go inside? Yes, we can. Come this way. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I am so excited to go on the double deck. <laughs> the double decker bus. <laughs> Step aboard. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're inside the London bus. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> and look, the ceilings are so low. Oh, my head can touch it. <laughs> and why are the ceilings so low? The ceilings are so low to keep the height of the bus down so you can get under bridges. Oh, oh that makes sense. Yeah, because there's two decks. You don't want to make the bus too tall. <laughs> oh, Dan, is it okay if I sit behind the wheel? Yes, you can sit in the cab. Oh, whoa! Woo! <laughs> wee wee! <laughs> well, Ian, did you call this the cab? The cab, yes. Whoa! The cab, that is awesome! Hey, do you know another vehicle that also has a cab? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's an excavator. That's where you control all the, the scoop and the bucket and the boom. Yeah. Whoa. This cab is really cool. Well, we have the steering wheel. And Ian, what's this? This is your gear stick to change gear. Whoa. <laughs> and are these also gear sticks? That's part of it. This is so you have to pull that down to put it into reverse so you don't accidentally put it in. Whoa. <laughs> you don't want to go backwards no, accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And uh, where do you put the key? Uh, there's no key start on this one. Oh, so do you just press this button? Yeah, you push the start button. Whoa, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, look, and this lever, is that the... It's a handbrake. Handbrake? <laughs> yeah. There's a button for the doors. Ooh, and I think I know what yeah, this button does. <laughs> is it okay if I press it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ian, is it okay if I explore more of the bus? Yeah, of course you can. Give me a shout when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> wow, this London bus is awesome. Whoa, and look at the seats. They're a reddish brown. Yeah, burgundy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, and look at the windows. Yeah, do you remember? Windows are really big, so you can see all the sights of London. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I bet we can get an even better view on the upper deck. <laughs> Let's go up the stairs. Come on! Whoa! Check it out. We're on the upper deck of the London bus. Whoa! You can see everything from up here. <laughs> Whoa! 360 degrees! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I'm a little bit dizzy now. <laughs> I'm so excited to go on the London bus tour. Yeah. Whoa! You see this? Binoculars! <laughs> Hello! Wow! I can see everything with these. <laughs> hey! And a sightseeing guide and a map. <laughs> wow, I think we're all ready to go, Ian. <laughs> Whoa, look at that building. It's so big. <laughs> wow. It's called the Shard, and it's the tallest building in England. <laughs> yeah, it's so tall. And it's made up of triangles. It's not like a normal tall building or skyscraper that's made up of rectangles or squares. Mm -mm. It has really big triangles. <laughs> Hello, Shard. <laughs> Hello. Hey, we're here on Paul Mall. Whoa. <laughs> this is a road that is very famous. Yeah. And I was looking with my binoculars and I saw a palace. <laughs> we definitely need to get closer to this palace. Ooh, I can't wait. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. I'm having so much fun on the London bus tour. And look at where I'm at. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's Buckingham Palace. This is where Queen Elizabeth II lives. Whoa, <laughs> it's so beautiful. And do you see the fence? Yeah, the fence is the color black and the color gold. Whoa, it's so pretty. Hey, and look, there's a flag flying at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know there are two kinds of flags that can be flown there? Yeah, 
there's a Union Jack, which means the Queen is not home. And there's a Royal Standard, which means the Queen is home. <laughs> wow. Oh, and do you see these people? Yeah, on the other side, there are Royal Guards. <laughs> they are so cool and have really big fuzzy hats. <laughs> wow, this is so awesome. I want to get a better view. Come on. Whoa, this has been so much fun here in Buckingham Palace. Do you hear something? Clip, clop, clip, clop. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like horses. Hmm. Whoa, check it out. There are horses. Whoa, and not any kind of horse. They look like they're very royal. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Look at that. Whoa. They're all in red and they have golden helmets. This is so cool. Yeah. It looks like we're here for the changing of the guards. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, horses. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool seeing all of those horses. <laughs> yeah, they were so royal, red and gold. It was beautiful. <laughs> this is so much fun watching the changing of the guards. Do you hear something? Yeah, it sounds like music. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who's playing the music. Whoa, check it out. It's a marching band. Yeah. Marching bands have so many instruments and play really loud music. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> hey, why don't you and I march along to the marching band? like a royal guard. Yeah. Do you see? They're wearing robes or jackets, coats, <laughs> that are gray. Yeah. They're wearing gray coats and they have fuzzy black hats. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. That was so nice listening to beautiful music. <laughs> wow. We've had so many amazing things we got to see. I wonder what we'll see next. <laughs> Wow, there are so many amazing things to see around Buckingham Palace. Do you see what's behind me? It's Canada Gate on the edge of Green Park. Whoa, and do you hear that? It sounds like another band is coming. Let's get a better view. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. We listened to the first band and now the second band is playing a new song. And this song feels majestic. <laughs> so majestic, it makes me want to dance. Whoa. It looks like they're on the other side. They'll be coming around soon. <laughs> Keep your eyes and your ears open. Whoa, the band is leaving. Look at them. Hello. They look so cool with their instruments and their coats. Wow. Look at them marching away. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about the changing of the guards. They look so cool. Whoa. And they're marching so well together. Look at them march. <laughs> oh. And there's police officers on horses. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was amazing. The guards are marching away. Bye-bye. <laughs> and I think it's about time we march away. Back to the bus. Come on. Whoa, it's St. Paul's Cathedral. Whoa, so beautiful. Yeah, it has a really beautiful architecture. Yeah, beautiful architecture. It's just a fancy way of saying really pretty designs. Someone did a good job building this building. Yeah, look, it's covered in all kinds of statues and shapes. Yeah, look, it has arches, triangles, whoa, 
rectangles, squares. And do you see those columns? Yeah, those columns are cylinders. <laughs> Whoa, do you know the shape of the top of the building? Yeah, that's called a dome. And on the top of the dome, covered in gold. Ooh, <laughs> gold, so fancy. <laughs> wow, it is such a beautiful building. It's so old. Hey, maybe we can learn more about architecture and other really cool designs by seeing some other buildings. <laughs> Ooh. Well, look, it's Falgar Square. And look, it's Nelson's column. <laughs> it's 169 feet tall. And Nelson at the top, hello, Nelson. He is 16 feet tall. Whoa, he's so big. <laughs> well, look, there's lions. Yeah, four lions right around him. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a construction vehicle. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. We're about to cross Tower Bridge. Yeah. Whoa, it's a really old and really long bridge. Yeah, it's 800 feet long. And it's called Tower Bridge because, look, <laughs> there's a tower in the middle. Wow. Yeah, a bridge like Tower Bridge is a bascule bridge. <laughs> yeah, that means that the bridge can open up. Whoa. It can open up and that lets really big boats float under it <laughs> so that the mast or other parts of the boat don't get hurt. <laughs> wow. Look at it. This is amazing! <laughs> this bridge is really cool. It's made out of stone and metal. Oh, look! And it's blue and white. Wow! And it has some red on it, too. <laughs> bye bye Tower Bridge! Bye bye <laughs> Whoa! I'm having so much fun on the Red Bus Tour! Yeah! We're seeing so many different things here in England. <laughs> Whoa! But all this touring is making me really hungry. Hey, why don't you and I try some food from here? <laughs> okay, we need to stop and go try some yummy, delicious food. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, we've seen so many amazing places on the bus tour, but I'm getting a little bit chilly. <laughs> hey, let's go inside to get warm and maybe get a bite to eat. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's so cozy in here. <laughs> it was a little chilly outside, so it's always nice to go inside to get warm. Wow, look, there's a fireplace. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's so nice being here in London, but I'm getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name is Simon. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Flippy. <laughs> Would you like to have a sit and try some traditional food? Whoa, I would love to. Thank All right. you. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I'm here in London and I'm going to try some traditional British food. Whoa, what's this, Simon? This is a fish and chips served with mushy peas and tartar sauce. Whoa, fish and chips? <laughs> that sounds so delicious. Huh. But I don't see any potato chips. Oh, I just see French fries. Here in England, we call them chips. And you're feeling adventurous? Try with vinegar. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds so tasty. Thanks, Simon. Enjoy. Wow. Huh, that's so interesting. In the United States, we call French fries French fries. But here in the UK, they call them chips. Oh, yeah. And look, they're a little bit thicker than a French fry you might find in America. <laughs> Okay, time to dig in. <laughs> hmm, where to start? Hmm, I think we should listen to Simon and get some vinegar. <laughs> yeah, we'll take some vinegar <laughs> and pour it over the food. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hmm, and it looks like there's a lemon. <laughs> we should try some of the lemon too. Whoa! <laughs> now it's fun. Time to dig in. Hmm. 
Woo! Oh, and I almost forgot. We need to use some of the tartar sauce. Yeah. Hey, dip a little in. Whoa! That is so tasty. I think I'm gonna take another bite. Oh, but wait, we forgot about the chips. Hmm. Woo! I've eaten french fries before, but I've never had a chip from London. Mm. That is so delicious. Yeah, it's a chip with vinegar, but I think we can try it with the mushy peas. Yeah, see, it's peas, but they've been mashed. Kind of like mashed potatoes, <laughs> but peas. Mm. Mm. Whoa, that was so tasty. Yeah, peas are vegetables, and these vegetables are so sweet and tasty. <laughs> oh. Hey, would you mm. like to try something else? Mm -hmm. mm. The fish and chips were delicious. Yeah. Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you. There Whoa. you are. Look at this. It's another traditional British dish. There are potatoes and cabbage. Hmm. Simon, what's this? This is a chicken, ham and leek pie. Whoa, thanks. Enjoy. <laughs> it's a pie, but this pie has chicken in it. Yeah, it's not a sweet pie, it's a savory pie. <laughs> yeah, savory means it's not sweet. It might be a little salty. You can eat it for your meal. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see this? Gravy. <laughs> it's time for a gravy party. Woo, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. Ooh, <laughs> that looks so tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this with a fork and a knife. But make sure you have a grown up help you with a knife. <laughs> you don't wanna use a knife by yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll try some potatoes. Yeah, these are mashed potatoes, but in London, they're just called mash. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that is so good, and the gravy is so tasty. Ooh, maybe we should try some cabbage. Yeah, cabbage is really good for you because it's green. Did you know that? Some foods are green. Yeah, a lot of times they're vegetables and really healthy. <laughs> Here we go. Yum, <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> and now the main event, the pie. <laughs> oh. Here we go, time to break it open. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, this looks like a really big bite. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that is so delicious. It's so salty and it's so tasty. Yeah, it has a flaky crust like a pastry but it has a salty and amazing flavor on the inside. <laughs> Whoa, I really like sweet pies and I really like British pies. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take another bite. <laughs> Do you still have room for desserts? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Whoa, Simon, these have been so tasty. Thank oh. you. <laughs> You're welcome. There you are. Simon, what are these desserts? So over here, you've got a sticky toffee pudding. Whoa. And <laughs> just in here, uh, apple and blackberry crumble. Wow, that sounds delicious. And <laughs> Thanks. Then, wow, look at it. Yeah, do you see this? This is called sticky toffee pudding. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like pudding. It looks more like maybe a muffin or a cake. Yeah. That's because in London, in the England, yeah, they call pudding mm, something else. But they call this, yeah, pudding. It kind of looks like a cake. It looks so delicious. And it looks like it has a caramel sauce too. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, time to try the desserts. <laughs> gonna need a fork and mm, I'm gonna try it with a spoon. Okay. Here we go. First, 
maybe just the spoon. <laughs> Whoa! And I want a little bit of ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, that's so tasty. The flavor is so interesting. Yeah, it tastes like toffee and it tastes like caramel and it's nice and warm. <laughs> but it's so tasty with cold ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to try the next dessert. This one is really fruity and it's colorful. Oh. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> so yummy looking. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's the color red. And the crumble on top, it looks kind of like a yellowish, maybe khaki color. <laughs> okay, choo choo. Uh. Whoa, that is so delicious. Hmm. That is not what I expected it to taste like. Yeah, it's really sweet, but it's another flavor. It's sweet and sour. <laughs> yeah, it's really tart. Ooh, <laughs> it's so good. I definitely need another bite of this. Would you like a tea to finish your meal? Whoa, tea? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Normally, I would be finished with my meal, but Tea is a great way to end it. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. This is so tasty. <laughs> wow. Tea is really, really tasty. And it's something really fun to do when you're in England. Yeah. Look, we have a teacup and a little spoon and a teapot. <laughs> Time to pour some tea. Whoa, whoa, look at it go! <laughs> wow, this tea looks so beautiful. You see, it has such a pretty color, and I bet it's really tasty. But be careful, it's also really hot. Oh, <laughs> so silly, I forgot something. When you're in England, they don't just, just drink tea. Sometimes it's very good and tasty add a little milk. Here we go. And once you add your milk or whatever else you want to put in your tea, you can stir it up. <laughs> ah, so tasty. <laughs> Uh-oh, I drank all the tea. <laughs> I guess I'll have to pour some more. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun trying new foods and new drinks and being able to explore London. <laughs> wow, that was so awesome. We tried so many amazing and delicious foods. Yeah. Let's go to the next place. Whoa, check it out. That building looks just like a walkie talkie. <laughs> That's funny because it's called the walkie talkie. Hello! <laughs> Look at where we are! Downing Street! Yeah! And this is a very important place because 10 Downing Street is where the Prime Minister lives. Whoa! Yeah! See? Right behind that black gate. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the Prime Minister is a very important person in England. Yeah! Very important to the government. The Prime Minister in England is kind of like the President in America. Whoa! <laughs> This is so cool. It's almost like we're outside the English White House. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at what it is. The British Museum. Wow, this place is amazing. Yeah. Look, the outside is so beautiful with big columns. Yeah, columns. Do you know what shape a column is? It's a cylinder. <laughs> and inside is even cooler. Yeah, inside the British Museum, there are eight Million objects! Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of objects. Ooh, I can't wait to go inside and see what there is. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe another time. We're too busy sightseeing on the bus tour. <laughs> I can't wait to go somewhere else. Come on! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are! Piccadilly Circus! <laughs> yeah! 
But this isn't a circus, <laughs> no. There's no animals or clowns here. No, it's called Piccadilly Circus because it's a roundabout. Yeah, that means it's a big circle. <laughs> big circle to drive around. So they call it Piccadilly Circus. Circus, circle. <laughs> Whoa, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant Ferris wheel. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> it's fun looking through my binoculars, but let's go up and stop and take a closer look. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's the giant Ferris wheel. This Ferris wheel is called the London Eye. <laughs> yeah, it's so big. Whoa. <laughs> well, actually, this Ferris wheel isn't a Ferris wheel, it's an observation wheel. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. An observation wheel helps you observe things so you can observe all of London. <laughs> Did you know that observe is just another word for looking? Woo, <laughs> and I love looking around London. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there are different places for you to sit and it moves really slowly in a circle. <laughs> yeah, and it gives you time to see everything. Did you know that there are 32 compartments for you to sit? Yeah, 32 for the 32 boroughs in London. Did you know boroughs is just another name for neighborhood? There are 32 neighborhoods and 32 compartments. I think we should count them all. <laughs> One, two, Three, four, <laughs> maybe it's too many to count right now. <laughs> wow, and do you notice anything else? Whoa, there are so many shapes. Yeah, the London Eye is a giant circle. <laughs> but if you look at the face, it's a triangle. One, two, three sides. <laughs> Wow, the London Eye is so amazing, but we better get back on the bus and go see some other sights. Come on. Whoa, look at what's behind me. It's Hyde Park. <laughs> yeah, do you see all the trees? Yeah, did you know that there are over 4,000 trees there? <laughs> That's a lot of trees. It's so green, but right now it doesn't look very green. No, that's because of the seasons. Yeah, the leaves are green during the year, but during fall, they start to change color. Then they turn brown, whoa, and then they fall off the tree during winter. <laughs> yeah, and you can see all the trees. Yeah, the leaves are turning brown, getting ready to fall off for winter. <laughs> whoa, look at it. It looks like a castle. Yeah, it's made of stones, has a moat? Whoa, it looks so historic. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's so cool being here in England. Yeah, everything is so old and looks so cool. Oh, let's stop and take a closer look. <laughs> wow, it's been so much fun riding around on a bus with you, but I wanted to hop off, to get a closer look at this castle. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like a castle and it's called the Tower of London. Yeah, and it's a fortress, a really big fortress. <laughs> hmm. And do you notice anything? Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Do you see those animals? Do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> yeah, they're lions. Hey, let's act like lions. <laughs> I am so excited to go inside the Tower of London and explore. And keep your eyes open, looking for any other animals we might find. <laughs> come on. Whoa, come on, let's go explore. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at this place, it's so big, yeah. And the towers are so tall, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, the walls inside the Tower of London are really tall. 
Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> it looks like someone was carrying some treasure. Ooh. Whoa, look. <laughs> coins. Hmm. But these coins aren't gold, <laughs> they're brown. <laughs> hmm. Look, that's so interesting. This table has coins, bags of coins, and bowls of coins. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see all the coins? Yeah, we had the carts with chests of coins. We had the big chests filled with coins and a table covered in coins. Yeah, this area is even called Mint Street. <laughs> And that's not because this place tastes like peppermint. <laughs> no, no, because this is where they made coins. Yeah, that's what you say. They minted the coins, or they made the coins. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, this place is amazing. It's so big and so old. <laughs> hey. Do you see any other animals around? Hmm. There's an animal behind me. <laughs> Whoa, there is! It's a polar bear. Whoa! Did you know that a polar bear, a real life polar bear, used to live here? <laughs> yeah, he would swim around in the moat <laughs> and eat lots of yummy fish. <laughs> hey, we can be polar bears. But we have to pretend like it's really cold outside. <laughs> That's pretty silly. <laughs> hey, I bet we can find even more animals. Come on. Whoa, I did it. <laughs> I found another animal. Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal that is? Yeah, it's an elephant. And it has one, two tusks. Yeah. Woo. And it has a really big trunk. <laughs> Woo. 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 <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Okay. Take your arm and make it an elephant's trunk. This place is so much fun. Whoa, we've seen so many animals. Do you see any others? <laughs> yeah, wow. Do you see at the top of the stairs there? There are some ravens. Whoa, do you know what sound a raven makes? <laughs> yeah, they caw and they're the color black. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. That's a raven cawing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and all the animals we've seen so far were just pieces of artwork. <laughs> but these ravens are real. Whoa. Hello, ravens. Caw, 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 caw. Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> we're in a bedroom. <laughs> We've had so much fun exploring and seeing all kinds of animals. But did you know that people used to live in castles? Yeah, all kinds of people. <laughs> and guess what kind of person lived in this bedroom? <laughs> the king. We're inside the king's bedroom. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and this bedroom was from a really long time ago. <laughs> it's a little different from a bedroom you might have today. Well, look at this. Do you see what this is? Yeah, they're candles. Back then, they didn't have lights or electricity. <laughs> you couldn't flip a switch. No, they had candles. <laughs> and that's why it's a little bit dark and a little bit spooky in here. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It's the king's bed. <laughs> it's so fancy. Look, it has curtains and it even has a roof what a roof on a bed <laughs> it looks really cozy though 
Yeah, because it would be really cold in here. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of cozy, look at this fireplace. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Yeah, a bedroom like this could get really cold. So cold that a polar bear lives outside. <laughs> so you needed a fireplace like this to keep you nice and warm. <laughs> and when you were done being warm, you could go to work and have a very nice kingly desk <laughs> to write notes to very important people. <laughs> wow, this place is so cool, but we better get back to the bus. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. It's Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> Whoa, this is a really big hall where they perform music. Yeah, they have a massive organ inside. Yeah. An organ is a type of instrument. <laughs> it's really big and really heavy. Yeah, it's kind of like a piano, but it has pipes that play the sounds. Wow, <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah, and this organ in Royal Albert Hall weighs 165 tons. Whoa, and has 9,999 pipes. Doot, <laughs> You can play a lot of music with those pipes. Yeah, you can come to London and you can listen to beautiful music by going to see an orchestra. Have you ever seen someone play music before? Whoa, that's so cool. Maybe you saw a piano <laughs> or a clarinet or maybe a violin. Music is so fun. <laughs> and I'm having so much fun exploring and looking at all these amazing buildings. <laughs> Whoa, look at what it is. It's Westminster Abbey. Wow, it's so beautiful. This building is really important because this is where kings and queens were crowned. <laughs> yeah, all the way since 1066. Whoa. <laughs> It's so old and so royal. <laughs> yeah, this building also has really beautiful architecture. Ooh, <laughs> that's a big word, architecture. That's another word for a really pretty design. Yeah, whoever designed and built this building did a great job. <laughs> Do you see? There's so many shapes. Look, in the center, there's a triangle. Whoa! And on the sides, there are one, two, circles. And the towers are rectangles. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is pretty cool. We want to see if we can find some awesome buildings to explore here in London. Let's get back on the bus. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. I'm having so much fun on this bus tour, I think I'm ready to sing a song. Hmm, well, what song should we sing? Well, we're on a bus. We're driving around really fast. I know, let's sing The Wheels on the Bus. <laughs> yeah. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, Driver of the bus says sit up top, sit up top, sit up top. The driver of the bus says sit up top on the London bus. What can we see? A big town, a big town, a big town. What can we see? A big town atop the London bus. At Buckingham Palace we see the guard. See the guard, see the guard At Buckingham Palace we see the guard In London town The double-decker bus drives near and far Near and far, near and far The double-decker bus drives near and far Through London town From the top of the bus see the London Eye London Eye, London Eye from the top of the bus, see the London Eye in London town. The wheels.
wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round through London town. Bye bye, London. I'll be back soon. I had so much fun today going on a London bus tour. I saw so many amazing sights and got to explore an amazing city, <laughs> London. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on everyone, let's make learning fun Blippi, Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! And today, we're here in Santa Ana, California! And I am so excited, because you and I get to check out a Smash My Trash Truck! <laughs> and learn about what happens after you throw away your garbage! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Check it out! It's so big! <laughs> this is a Smash My Trash Truck, and it looks very familiar. Hmm, it has a cab and a boom. It looks just like an excavator, <laughs> but it's a little different. An excavator is yellow. But this Smash My Trash Truck is the color red. <laughs> and this truck doesn't dig dirt like an excavator. It smashes trash! <laughs> Ooh, let's get a closer look. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> hey, this is the cab. Yeah, that's where the operator sits. And look, that's Operator Max. <laughs> yeah, he has all the controls to control the boom. <laughs> And he can see everything that's happening so he can keep people safe. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this! It's so big! <laughs> yeah, this is a really big and important part of the Smash My Trash Truck. It's the Smashing Drum! <laughs> Not that kind of drum. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> no. This drum helps to smash the trash. Yeah, it's really big and really heavy. And chew up trash or wood or metal. <laughs> Whoa! Basically, anything but not concrete. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see this? Yeah, look. The smashing drum has really big teeth. <laughs> yeah, really big teeth to get into all that trash. <laughs> Whoa, it's so huge and it's so heavy. To move this truck around, you need really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Whoa, they're so big. They're as big as me. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look. This truck, it doesn't dig dirt and it doesn't just drive around. Because it has to smash trash, we need the trash. And we have it right here. <laughs> Whoa, this. It's kind of like a garbage can, but this, it's not a garbage can. It's a 40-foot hauling bin. <laughs> Whoa! That is so big. Yeah, it's so big that it can hold up to 10 tons of trash. Whoa! <laughs> and they use these to take the trash from a garbage can to the bin and to the bin to a landfill. Yeah, or a dump. <laughs> but when we're smashing the trash, inside the hauling bin, we need to use wheel chucks. <laughs> Whoa, see? Yeah, these bins can be moved around, but when we're smashing it, the wheel chucks keep it in place so it doesn't shake or move when we're smashing the trash. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this is so awesome. <laughs> it's so big. Hmm. It would be really cool and fun to see some trash get smashed. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a person. Let's go say hello. Come on. <laughs> Hi, I'm 
Blippy, what's your name? Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> is this your truck? Yes, it is. Whoa! <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun learning all about it. But I have a question. Why do you want to smash your trash? Well, it's simple. It's a couple of reasons. One, let's talk about the environment for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this trash has to go somewhere, correct? Yeah, like a landfill or a dump? Exactly. Oh. So what this truck does, it comes down, it's going to smash it, it's going to tear it, it's going to rip it, and it's going to compact it so it oh. doesn't take up so much space in the landfills. Oh, did you hear that? By smashing the trash, it makes the trash smaller. So it doesn't take up as much room, and you can put more trash in the landfill but keep it nice and clean. <laughs> Absolutely. Also, what we do by smashing it down, now we're able to fill this bin a second and third time, so we eliminate the trucks on the roads that haul the trash away. Whoa! No trucks on the road means it's better for the environment. And you can refill this bin two times? Three times? Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of trash. <laughs> and most important, we save the customer money so they don't have to haul away as frequently. <laughs> and that's important too. <laughs> Uh, do you think we could see some trash get smashed? Absolutely! Oh, <laughs> great! I'm gonna just go run over there and start the truck up and you'll watch Max start smashing. <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to see the Smash My Trash Truck crush some trash! It's gonna make it so small and compact and it'll make it better for the environment! <laughs> Whoa! And check out the bin! <laughs> Whoa! There's so much trash here! Look, there's cardboard, Paper? Whoa! And it looks like a really big metal bin. <laughs> okay, it's getting started. <laughs> Let's back up a little so we're not too close and nice and safe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, check out the boom. <laughs> it's so tall, check it out. <laughs> The smashing drum is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Do you see that? The smashing drone is turning and grinding up all the trash to make it smaller. Yeah, it's more compact. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! The trash was this high, and now it's really low. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no way! There was a big plastic barrel, and it chopped it in a lot of pieces. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Whoa, this truck is so powerful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! Hi, Steve! Hi, Blippi! <laughs> that was so fun smashing the trash! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it, because you know what? We have another bin to smash right now! Whoa! We have another bin to smash? Do you think I could smash it? I'm thinking you should be smashing it. Oh, that would be so great! <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's go smash some trash. All righty. <laughs> oh, hi, Max. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. Do you think you could show me how to smash some trash? Of course. Hop on in the cab. Okay, great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. I'm climbing into the cab of the truck. <laughs> Whoa. 
Close and that for you. We'll close the door. Safety first. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm in the cab. Yeah. Well, Max, I really want to smash some trash, but I don't know how to start. Okay. First, let me go ahead and show you how to turn the machine on. Okay. Grab that key. Okay. And flip it to the right. Oh, it uses a key just like a car. <laughs> Whoa, that's really cool. And then once I turn it on, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and lower the boom by pressing the left joystick. Whoa. Take the left joystick. Press it up. And I'll move it up. Yes. And then once I lower the drum, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and start rotating the drum by using the second joystick. Okay. And then the second joystick, going to move that forward and backward and forward. <laughs> well, I think I know everything I need. There you go. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Crushing trash with the Smash My Trash Truck. And it was really interesting learning about where garbage goes once you throw it away. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo! Look at these blocks! They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange, and oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, Welcome! <laughs> That's so nice! I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands Ooh, in order to go inside the park. I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. What brings you in today? Oh, I really want to learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow. Okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines. I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow. <gasps> Quincy. Quincy. Except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, 
That makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. <gasps> Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere, huh? Whoa, <gasps> I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, <laughs> it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be at a trampoline park? <gasps> hey, there's a basketball hoop. <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah! Didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. There's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <laughs> No, Quincy. Huh. Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew. You don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails. And cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance. And they're really good jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! <gasps> that has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! <laughs> I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika. It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard, right? Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just gonna touch the ground. Oh, okay, we're just gonna touch, touch the, the ground. ground. You know, and then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> 
Wow. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. All right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist. Okay, ready? Ooh, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow. <laughs> I got what else one can we you. do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. <laughs> become the ball. Here I go. Whoa! <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. Well, first, you're gonna get a whole <laughs> lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Oh, yeah. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes, he's gotta have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. So good Meditate at jumping! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! That was so fun! But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly. It's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I'm gonna go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout with me. It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Easter Seals, Southern California. And we get to visit one of their therapy centers. <laughs> I am so excited, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> this room is awesome. Look, <laughs> looks like there's so many fun things to play on. <laughs> this is a basketball hoop. Whoa, check it out, there's the hoop. <laughs> The backboard. <laughs> and the net. Ooh. And we want to try to get this ball in the net. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> uh oh, we missed. <laughs> Ooh. But that's okay. If you try something the first time and you miss, that's okay. 
you do it again and again and again, <laughs> that's called practice. And if you do lots of practice, then you're sure to get better. And I want to get better at basketball. Woohoo! Uh-oh, we missed again, but I have a really good idea. Slam dunk! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if there's anybody else around here that I could play with. Hmm. Hmm. You know, a good way to make friends is to introduce yourself. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> and then just ask them to play. Would you like to play with me? <laughs> See, it's that easy. And now you and I are best friends. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check out this slide. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, do you hear that? Huh, what's that noise? Oh, <laughs> hey, check it out! <laughs> hello, hi! Whoa, hello there! <laughs> wow, do you see it? It's a real life robot! <laughs> hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Hans. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> hi, Hans! It's so nice to meet you. Ooh, hey, maybe we can ask Hans a question. <laughs> Hans, would you like to be our friend? <laughs> hey, did you see that? Hans did a little dance. <laughs> that means he's happy. And it must mean yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Hans, now that we're friends, what should we do together? Over there, please. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah, Hans put out his hand and he motioned for us to go with him. Hmm, <laughs> I bet Hans has somewhere fun to take us. <laughs> wow! Whoa! Hey look, Hans was pointing at the table. <laughs> It looks like there are some healthy snacks over there. <laughs> Hans, did you set those out for me to eat? Yes, Blippi. Aw, <laughs> that is so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? I said thank you. Do you use words like please and thank you too? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's really important when someone does something for you to say thank you because you appreciate it. <laughs> and you appreciate them. Ah, thank you, Hans. That was so nice. <laughs> Hans, would you like to go sit over at the table? Yes. <laughs> Where would you like to sit? Over there, please. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Hans said the words, please, <laughs> when I asked him to come over to the table. And he also said, thank you, <laughs> because he appreciated what I did. <laughs> Aw, you are so nice. <laughs> and this food looks so tasty. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Yellow bananas. <laughs> oh, tomatoes and broccoli. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> but first, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We need to wash our hands. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, Hans. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to make sure your hands are squeaky clean. <laughs> but Hans, he doesn't need to wash his hands. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, check it out. <laughs> this is a sink where we can wash our hands. Ooh, and look, it's all the steps to properly wash them. <laughs> Step number one says, water on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, step number two, hands wet. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Now that my hands are wet, we can go to step number three, rub hands with soap. 
And because we want squeaky clean hands, we want to make sure we rub our hands with soap for longer than 10 seconds. Whew. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and whoa, <laughs> 10. <laughs> whoa, and because we don't want soapy hands, <laughs> we want to rinse them off. Okay. Next, we turn off the water. You don't want to waste water. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we dry off our wet hands. <laughs> now that our hands are clean, we can eat a delicious and healthy snack. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at all the amazing snacks here. <laughs> we have yellow bananas. Hmm, I wonder how these taste. Oh, look, <laughs> it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> Ooh. And hmm, we have some other yummy vegetables here. <laughs> but let's start with the bananas. Okay, time to peel the banana. <laughs> Check it out. Look how cool it is when the banana is peeled. Yeah. <laughs> and it tastes sweet. Mm -hmm. And this banana is soft. Soft and sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the taste of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa. Let's try some tomatoes. Woo. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I wonder what these tomatoes will taste like. Whoa, those tomatoes have so much flavor. <laughs> They're kind of salty and they certainly are juicy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have a very interesting taste. Whoa, and look, <laughs> they kind of look like little bouncy balls. Boing, 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 boing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a little tree. It's a little forest of trees. Whoa, hello trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. These aren't trees. They just look like trees. These are broccoli. Hello, broccoli. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that broccoli is so crunchy. Oh, <laughs> and look, some green celery. Hmm, I wonder how this will taste. Whoa, the banana was really soft, but the celery, hmm, it wasn't very soft. It was definitely crunchy. Oh, and kind of tastes a little sweet. Hmm. <laughs> I like that celery. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, and check it out. It's an orange carrot. Mm. <laughs> orange carrots are so cool looking. Do you know why they're so cool looking? Because it's orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. Yum, <laughs> that is so tasty. Yeah. The orange carrot is sweet and crunchy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Hans, these were some really good snacks to pick out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hans, can we play together? <laughs> did you see that? Hans did a little dance. Sounds like he wants to play together. Well, do you know of any place that we can go and play? Check it out! <laughs> he moved his arm in this motion. Yeah, that means he wants us to go with him. Okay, <laughs> let's go! 
<laughs> Let's go play. <laughs> Whoa! This place is amazing! <laughs> Look! There's a slide, a rock climbing wall, and a really cool swing! <laughs> hmm. Hans, do you want to ride the swing? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here you go, Hans. Ooh, check out this swing. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Hans and I are riding the swing. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Hi, Hans. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name is Michelle. I'm a speech therapist here at Easter Seals. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And you said you're a speech therapist? Oh, well, what does a speech therapist do? We help kids learn to talk, play, and just learn new things. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I love playing and learning new things. <laughs> and so does Hans. We've been having so much fun playing together today. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. In this room, we help kids learn to move in new ways. We play games and practice things like taking turns. Whoa, games are so fun. Hey, maybe we should all play a game together. But what game should we play? Hide and seek. Whoa, great idea, Hans. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. But we need to remember to take turns. So who should go first? Hans would like to go first. <laughs> okay, Hans will go first and count to 10. Michelle and I are gonna hide. <laughs> okay, we're ready to play. <laughs> okay, Hans, you count to 10 and Michelle and I are gonna go hide. <laughs> See if you can find us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. Hans, you found me! Hooray! I know you're around here somewhere, Blippi. I see you, Blippi. Aww, Hans, you found me! <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Now, I'll count to 10 and you and Michelle hide. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Found me. Good job. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> Whoa! That game of hide and seek was so fun. It was. <laughs> oh well, thanks for playing with us, Hans. Thanks for playing with us, Michelle. <laughs> yes, it was so nice to meet you today, Blippi. Oh. Bye. Bye. Bye, Hans. <laughs> bye bye. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome. <laughs> oh, and Hans, do we have time for another activity? What is it? Hans likes to shake his tail. Whoa, me too! Let's have a dance party! <laughs> Let's go! Hans loves the blippy dance. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> do the blippy dance all day long. Move your feet, do the blippy song. Do the blippy dance, follow my lead. Do the blippy dance, do it with me. Come on. Get ready to dance and move all around. 
ready to move around the room and shake, shake, shake to this flippy tune. Get ready, clap your hands, shake it out, feel the beat, do a dance, and sing it loud. Get ready, clap your hands, shake it out, feel the beat, do a dance, and sing it loud. Do the flippy dance. To the sky now back down low do the flippy dance wherever you go do the flippy dance all day long move your feet do the flippy song do the flippy dance follow my lead do the flippy dance do it with me get ready clap your hands shake it out feel the beat Was some awesome dancing, Hans. I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Blippi. Aw, thank you for being my friend, Hans. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Blippi. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> and we got to make some new friends. Hans the robot <laughs> and Michelle. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>